All right, what's going on, everybody? We are gonna hop back into some more Bitterroot. Um, I wouldn't mind going back to Jackson Falls, like that new that new city, and doing a little bit more exploring around there. I also want to see if we can get that Hummer if it's still in the same spot. It'd be fun to get that Humvee going. So I think that's what we'll st we'll uh, we'll do right now. I am looking at the servers and I think they're being DDoSed or something's going on with the servers. So I wasn't paying attention. I tried to hop in. I think the U.S. servers are getting DDoSed or some some issue with the U.S. servers. So hopefully they'll go back up momentarily. Um, what else? What was I gonna say? Oh yeah, there's Road to Vostok has a new demo as well. So that's a game that I've been kind of loosely following over the past year or two. So we should give that a shot as well. I've got that downloaded. Um, it's just a small little demo, like a teaser of what the game's going to be. But it looks like the Bitterroot server just went back up now. So we're going to join here momentarily. And we'll try to get a car battery and a glow plug so that's what we'll be looking for maybe we'll try to find some teammates today because yesterday we didn't really see too many people though people we saw we ended up shooting so let's see if we can find some teammates today do a little bit of exploring like i said try to find the parts for the humvee and hopefully it's still there we'll make that a little uh side objective to try to get the humvee and then there's a few more spots that we haven't seen too like i was hoping to find an in-game map i didn't see one yesterday but there's a few summer camps and whatnot that we could try to find, so we could we could do that as well. That'll be the plan anyway. But we're just sitting number one in the queue, so we should be in momentarily, and we'll uh, begin the adventure. Hopefully the servers don't go up and down all day. I'm not sure exactly sure what's happening, but they were down for like 20 minutes. It looks like they're up again, so like I said, hopefully the servers aren't having too many issues or getting DDoSed or hackers or anything. We shall see. Fingers crossed. Let me grab my coffee and then we should be in the server. Right. How you doing, Anita? Laying in bed, huh? What's going on, Nosy Shaft? Scotty, good to see you. Silent Joe, how you doing? Bob, good to see you as well. Sta, Barley. Yeah, the US. U.S. servers are just went back up. What's going on, Killa, Sinclair, Sosa, Mischief, good to see you, Frank, Dirt, what's up, man? Getting DDoSed, huh? Shit. Back on 911 call taken, plenty of time to watch your channel again. Perfect, man. Good to see you, dude. How you doing, Ruin Fat, Texas? Welcome on in, Rebo. I haven't banned anyone yet, yeah. It'll happen. It'll happen. Uh, enjoying a nice stream with a Peroni and a burger? You're doing the right thing. I hope you're not over 30, though. 
Dude, I want some Peroni so bad now that you said that. God damn it, why'd you have to say that? Maybe I'll order one more case of beer before the end of the month. Not a bad idea. I really wish that I could order Peronis and I didn't have to go to the store, but I went to the store and they only had non-alcoholic Peronis, so I don't know what's going on with that. Can I get banned for, for using, using too many emotes? I'll never ban you, Rebel, okay? Never. See, Revo, you don't say crazy outlandish things, you know? You're pretty normal. You're like the... Thanks God. Yeah. Or, no, you should say thanks God. Not thank God. Yeah. You know how I said I'd never ban you? Mm. Never say never. Okay. We're in. It's not thank God, it's thanks God. Ronson and Ronson... What's up, Wolken? Okay, let's try to find... Let's try to find that darn car battery. And we're gonna try to find a glow plug as well. We're gonna try to get the Humvee. We're gonna try to see the rest of the new spots. Maybe even have a teammate or two. I need you guys on your best behavior today. We can't be scaring off any teammates. I'll uh, mention that you should look on the your calendars and tell me what day it is. It's Friday. You know what that means. The kids are out of school and... It's going to get messy this weekend. Real messy. It's the weekend. Prepare yourself. You see, if they got rid of these base building materials, then more relevant stuff would spawn like car batteries and, you know, glow plugs. Oh, you can lock someone up with this? Or no, wait. That's just setting the dial, huh? Doesn't say <laughs> you can tie someone's hands with this set? That'd be crazy. Yo, Doctor, 130 consecutive streams. One hundred and thirty, huh? That's gotta be the longest streak. Appreciate it, man. Spring break, haven't they been out of school? Hmm. Good point. I don't pay attention to that. When does spring break end anyways? So let's focus on checking all these industrial areas, sheds and stuff like that. Ooh. This 
Sporter with a 30 round magazine, huh? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, we definitely need to get a Humvee going. I wonder if someone got that Humvee already. Uh, probably, huh? I'm wondering if it spawns there though. That seems like a logical spawn point, doesn't it? I'm guessing it spawned there, honestly. So even if... Uh, I wonder how those Humvees work. Like if there's one in the server already, I wonder if there's a possibility to get two. I'm pretty sure the Humvees, there's only ever one on a server at any, any given time if it's not uh, modded in, right? Let's try to find a handheld map, compass. I know we're spawning in Tyler. Shelter, thanks a lot for the 10 months. Appreciate that, Shelter. Hope you're doing good. The BK blasting off. How you doing, Nameless? Good evening. Good evening.
These Humvees can spawn some pretty good stuff. Pistols, different ammo, some guns. It'd be cool if you could strip some parts for them, like if they had a chance of having a battery, like a rare battery or a glow plug. Good to see you, Sasquatch. Vitamins. Uh, how you doing, Executive Bobonito? I'm trying to remember where we found that battery. I think it was in just one of those construction site type buildings. It's like a broken down construction site type building. I think there's a few of them in Tyler. Let's go take a look.
nice fanny pack. There isn't really isn't too many uh, shacks or anything over here, or sheds. I mean, garages and whatnot. Kind of hard to find this uh, industrial loot. Adjust my chair here. It's like the support on the chair is starting to get old. Slowly shrinks every time you sit on it. This is hard to get into the right position. It appears they have Humvees spawning in all military pos uh, areas. Okay. So it's pretty much random then. I should try to get some nails. There's definitely nails around. They shouldn't be around, but we should probably utilize them again. Yeah, I don't know if there's multiple Humvees, though. It's probably not multiple Humvees. Probably just one. I would assume, anyways. How you doing, Fandango? Quick, good to see you. It's usually one Humvee. This shoddy. There's a couple of guys firing off a BK around. You gotta be careful. They're probably still here. Causing trouble with the BK. I guess we could bury that sash, huh? Or the chest. 
We'd have to get a shovel. I've never buried a chest before, I don't think, but it should let us bury it on this server. Find a battery or something, we could bury it. Oh, there's a hole right here, too. Wait, where was that chest? Is that in the last, uh, where was that? In the shed? Am I losing it? In the greenhouse. Or in here, yeah. Ooh, compass is nice. I'll take those. I'll yeah, we'll leave it there for now. It'd be cool to find a car battery and put it in there. They're so damn heavy you don't want to carry them, or carry them around. So there's a police station over here. I'd like to get a map if we can. I haven't seen any maps at all. Some shoddy ammo would be nice. Adjusting my chair here. It's either too low or too high. God damn chair. Try M. No. I don't use M maps. We're real survivors, okay? None of this M stuff. There will be no M when the map comes out, I assure you. I didn't mean to take both of these compasses. Should have stashed one of those. I thought one of them was in our stash. Yeah, this is a modded map.
Matches the fanny pack, huh? Not bad. Is this the time of month where we remind House about Partner Plus? It's already done. If you go down to the uh, About section, I think we passed it a couple of days ago. So it's done for this month. I think it's at like 370 or something. 360. Ooh. Stab vest. I haven't seen this one yet. Green stab vest. Need to find a battery for this flashlight. Is it a full server? Yeah. Yeah, it's like 80 with a... Uh, uh, I think it was like 30 some Q. It's going to be pretty busy this weekend, I think. It was getting DDoS, so like the server crashed a bunch earlier, I think. Uh, but no, I expect to see this server full late into the night tonight, I would assume. Let me see. Yeah, it's a f 80 out of 80 plus 46, 48Q for this server. All the servers are full, I think. Even the EU ones, maybe. They did a little poll in the Discord about the Australian and the some other servers. and So they might end up getting rid of them, I'm not sure. So it's not being used, but... Why do graphics look so good on... Good, is this just on Bitterroot? No, the graphics are pretty far for the course. Bitterroot has a lot less foliage. So foliage makes it look really shitty on stream. It's a good looking map though. It's got the skybox and the elevation and the lighting and stuff. But no, as far as like graphics, these are just different buildings. Maybe that's what you think. The buildings are different, right? These are like custom... Different uh, police stations, everything's American. This is different, maybe, but basically the same textures and stuff. But yeah, it's weird. This town, back when this map first came out, was a shit show. It was like 50 people in here. So they, they changed the spawns up a lot, I guess. I, just, I don't know, I just keep getting this Tyler spawn, but I never see anybody. This place used to be a battle royale, like. Really crazy. So weird. Oh, there's someone right there. He's got a pipe in his hand. Let's see if he tries something funny. What are you doing over there, man? Yo. You friendly? 
yeah? You are? Jesus, why are you acting so timid? Not everybody's a freak out here. What am I going to kill you for? Your fucking yellow jacket? Yeah, maybe. No, no, relax. Uh, Willie, thank you for gifting a sub out to Took for Granted. Appreciate that, man. Purify this water. I know there's a well over here somewhere. Nice boots. What's going on, man? Uh, same place you killed the three man yesterday? No. No, that's a new city. This is just a spawn town. It's on the other side of the map where we killed those guys. Do you see a gun or gun on the roof? I'm not sure. Gun on the roof.
Well, we should be able to find some food in here. These vehicles have a lot of snacks. Yo, Lurkin, thank you for gifting us about to re updated. Appreciate that, Lurkin. Oh, there's some uh, buckshot right there. Probably only two. One. Better than nothing, though. Steerman, thank you for the two months. What's going on, Steerman? Executive, thanks for the bits. Hope you're doing well, Executive. Uh, food has been has been the big struggle. What on this map? Yeah, if you just check vehicles, especially in Tyler and stuff, you'll find a lot of food. Vehicles and houses, usually pretty good. There's a lot of animals too, so. I've only been spawning in Tyler though. Oh shit. Shots on the other side of town. Wow, we saw a few people, but. Server shutting down? DDoS again? Hopefully not. It could not connect to the server because it's unreachable. One sec. Other one just had a mod update. Okay. Maybe I need to update my mods. Right click repair mod 607. I'm gonna restart my game here, guys. Give me a sec. One second. Yeah, dude, that's not a, um, it's not a gun that you saw. You saw a camo net that I picked up. I'm pretty sure that's what you're talking about, right? The one that I picked up and I dropped, just a camo net. I don't even use ghillie gun wraps I mean, ever. The only time that I would ever use one or even think of using one is if I had a ghillie, but not sure that's what you mean or not. The flood, they flood the network connections. Yeah, the DDoS. It was a gun or a fishing rod. Hmm. Bitterroot Adams, 1988 firearms.
I didn't realize DDoS attacks are still a thing. Yeah, unfortunately. I wonder if it's a group of people or if it's the same guy that does it. But um, it's a routine thing on new servers and ones that are like popular and stuff like that. Um, it's a pretty regular occurrence. I wonder if it's the same guy over and over again, but. It's gonna be a sec, guys. I gotta update some mods and stuff. They're doing something with the server. Should be back in momentarily. I might have to verify my integrity of my game files, but. You know how that is. Daisy mods. You update one thing and then you gotta like reinstall your whole game. <laughs> it's perfect. I love it. Fuck, it would suck if I had to wait in queue. I've been waiting like a 48 man queue to the last to the last one and then get DDoSed or have to update your mods or something silly. I guess it's better now because it forces you to update them before the queue, but it look like a Springfield with a scope? Where? Where is this gun that you guys are talking about? Tell me exactly where it is. In the barracks? There was a Springfield with a scope in the barracks. I normally watch on Twitch. New tech? Oh, what's up, dude? I don't own DZ. Not an issue for me. What do you what do you mean, Justin? DDoS is not an issue for you. Uh, well, I think I'm gonna have to verify the integrity of my game files, guys. This is gonna take a minute. One sec. I'm not seeing this mod that got updated. It's giving me a BPO error, so I don't know. They did something. They fucked something up. See, there's a Bitterroot mod that's like 8 gigabytes. I think it encompasses everything in there. I don't see any specific mods to fix. Hmm. Okay, just give me a minute. Verify the integrity of the game files. Mm -hmm. I doing bad. Yeah, they said they're trying to fix it right now. Let's see.
I just went back to watch the VOD. It's like a l weird texture on the roof. So, so there was no gun, huh? There was no gun after all. One guy went back, he's like, yeah, it looks like a Winchester with a scope. <laughs> the fuck are you guys smoking? That Zaza? You smoking the Zaza again? Yeah, man, it looks like a fucking bazooka. The bazooka on the roof.
All right, guys, we're just trying to get back in now. The server's kind of been having some issues. Should be in momentarily. Uh, Vic Fox, thank you for the two months. Appreciate that. I hope you're doing well.
Okay, the server is back up. We're just gonna join now, guys. Everything should be sorted out. Hopefully, there's no more delays or any kind of malicious activity. Let's see if we can find uh, a car battery and a glow plug. That'll be the goal, and try to find that uh, Humvee. Hopefully, someone hasn't taken it yet. But the Humvee is located in the west, I think, in the far west. In that new city of Jackson Falls, which is like the big, massive city that they added recently. So that'll be the goal, maybe find some teammates, head over there, and hopefully we can go for a little ride, go for a little cruise in the Humvee. But we should be in the server, I'm just number one in the queue, should be in the server momentarily. Okay. Start you guys off with some gamma. <clears throat> All right. Let's find this battery. Actually, need a double A battery too. Could use a double A. Dirt Naps, thanks for the five gifted men. Going out to IYQT, the Flagrant, Kono, Peaky, and Batch. Appreciate that, man. Thanks for the five gifted dirt. Yeah, I'm going to look into some more emotes and sub badges for you guys soon. I've been lacking on the uh, sub badges. I'd like to get those done because I think I only have up to like a year, maybe, or nine months. Now we got a decent start here. We got a pistol, shoddy, and a sporter. What else do we need? A little bit of food. There's a bunch of vehicles in town. We'll go and check the vehicles. Grab some food, see if we can get a glow plug or a battery. Be on our way. I think the glow plug might end up being the hardest thing to find, but let's have a look around. I think if they took out the base building materials, it would give a lot of room for other things to spawn in. There's a lot of those wire wheels and a lot of useless stuff that you'd use for basing. So if they can remove that from the non-base servers, that would be ideal. had that bat before. I wanted to try to put the nails on the bat, but I dropped it. Thank <laughs> you. 
And beat him with a compass. Let's keep this in mind if we if we need a spare wheel try to hide this bad boy in the construction site Military container up here, huh? Oh boy. Dude, I gotta make that happen. If I jump again, though, I'm gonna break my leg. It'd be a sweet escape. Someone chasing you with like a sledgehammer. Just jump down. If I do, if I fuck that up again, though, we're we're gonna be gimps. Still can't go in here, huh? <gasps> Come on, glow plugger battery. Basing materials. I wonder how hard it would be to remove those from the loot table. It probably wouldn't be too hard. You see, I feel like a lot of meaningful spawn points are getting taken up by relevant things. There's a lot of base materials around. Like a lot. I'd say there'd probably be a lot more batteries and glow plugs and spark plugs if these weren't spawning.
Right, so we need to head west. A lot of zombies here. going on postage stamp. MP5 magazine. Ooh. Now that's a look. love how they make an item they make a clothing item in this game and it just conflicts with every other game other item in the game you think they would put make the clothing item and then test it with all the other vanilla items in the game like they can't be responsible for modded items but how is it that they add these clothing items and then it just conflict with every single other item in the game that's a dev's level of uh, attention and testing. You know what I mean? It's the little things. There's a list of all the changes in the Discord if you want to join their Discord, but they added uh, some new areas, new big city. Oh, look at this. And some new guns and stuff like that. AR-15, so this thing's semi-automatic. Shoots 5.56. Just surprised to find it in the hunting marketplace. It's got a little red dot. See, the red dot without a battery would probably be better than the irons. Because at least I can visualize where the red dot would be. But with the without the red dot, it's so hard to visualize. I think we'll head over to Juno this time. There's a military base not far from here. Usually doesn't have much, but we might be able to kill somebody there or get some 556, five, maybe a magazine for this. Okay, so this one is a yellow. And the one across the water is red. I think there's two different trails that go east to west across the whole map, I think. Let's backtrack and hit these two. I have to cross the water to get to Juno base, I think. Yeah, we went to the new city and we killed four dudes there last night and we found a Humvee. 
Um, so I want to go back to the big city and get that Humvee running. It needs both a battery and a spark plug or a glow plug. So that's the goal. Go back to the new city, try to get the Humvee. If it's still there. Yeah, we had a pretty geared character last night. Very geared, but we ended up dying. Unfortunate circumstances. I went to a alley crash. I found a grenade launcher. And I had an explosive round in a tox in a pox grenade for the launcher. And I loaded the launcher. I looked down and loaded it. And it was the explosive round that went in. And then we ran into a guy like 10 minutes later. I shot at him with the explosive round and it was it turned into the pox grenade. And then the guy fucking... Got away from all my shots and then comes around a corner in a full sprint with a bolt action and just goes BINK! Shoots me right in the head. It was pretty crazy. Super unlucky. I don't know why the game... That's a weird bug, man. I don't know. There was two... Of the launcher rounds inside of a pot. And it took the explosive round out. So I'm guessing that it's a bug that's like... it. If you pull it out of a container, it always shows the explosive round. I don't know. It's weird. Very weird bug. I'm having trouble with my mods. Yes. Yeah. You can try a few different things. You can unload all the mods. You can try to repair all the mods. Or verify the integrity of your game files. But yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Yo, Slap. Thank you for the 33 months. Appreciate that, man. That's one of the longest subs, I think. I hope you're doing good, man. And Unleashed, thank you for the four months. There's another city over here. Let's go have a look. I think this is called Coleman. It's very busy. A lot of people running around. City of Coleman. the rough file size for the mods to run this to run bitterroot i think the bitterroot mod is like seven gigabytes 
And there's some other run, uh, mods associated with it. Uh, let's see. Mods, what is he running? He's got golf card, bitterroot, no force weapon race, CF, vanilla, basic earplugs, and community online tools. So yeah, it's like, I'd probably say 10 gigabytes or under maybe. I don't know how big CF and admin tools and stuff. Those might be a little bigger, but I'm pretty sure the, the bitterroot mod is like seven gigabytes. I don't want to triple carry this AR-15. I'm going to leave it over here for now. I wonder what they did to the spawn changes because I never see anybody anymore. It's weird. Where's everybody spawning? Maybe Ore. Ore, Milton. In the far south, maybe? It's weird. I keep getting that same spawn every time and I very rarely see anybody. Strange. The server's got the most amount of people. I... I I think it had 70 or 80 last play test. It's 80 with this massive queue and you never see anybody. It's super weird. Another AR-15, huh? These are pretty common. Yeah, DV. The uh, the shorts definitely get people pretty worked up about shit, but that's the internet, right? You take like a 20 second clip and then you derive your entire opinion off of it, just like the news. People don't have any critical thinking skills. It's like they get offended. It's so ironic. Daisy's a game where your whole point is to survive. So theoretically, you go in, you try to kill every single person and survive. You can team up if you want. And I team up like all the time. I literally spend all the, like most hours of my days playing this game, helping people and teaming up and having fun. And the thing is, if you don't kill some people, let's say you see someone with a play carrier and they have a pistol and shit. And they're talking in Discord, obviously, which they were in that case. The chances of me teaming up with them are almost zero. <clears throat> because if I team up with them, they just betray me. Like, people are fucking stupid, man. They don't think about anything before they speak. So they just go on this. And then people are such sheep these days. They read a comment. And they don't think. Of, they just. That's their opinion. That's how, that's how low level thinking people are today. They read the comment and then they see all the other sheep saying something. And they're like, oh yeah, let's jump on the hate train. Or it's the other way around. Where you get like a, you know, positive comment. 
and then everybody's positive. You know, it's that's just how it is today. That's just how it is today. But, you know, I'm not like, I, I feel like sometimes going in there and be like, this is out of context. You know, these guys are in Discord. They fucking shot at us two minutes earlier. And then the, if you kill them, they're like, whoa. They weren't even fighting back, you know, because you surprised them out of it. It's just ridiculous. People online are ridiculous, but anyway, it's all good. It's all for the algorithm anyways. Part of me just wants to set the record straight, but it's like, what's the point of even trying to reason with people like that? It's just whatever. It's not that important or, in, you know, in the grand scheme of things, no one gives a fuck anyways. It's like online video game shit. Who cares, right? But yeah, you're, you're fucked if you, you do, and you're fucked if you don't. I don't kill those two people, they find a gun, they shoot me. You know what I mean? So. They're like, oh, you're going so try hard, you're fucking... Blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, I'm just having fun in a game. Yeah, so what? I killed two people, they had play carriers and shit, they had guns. The fuck do you want me to do? Plead for them to team up with me and then get betrayed as soon as they don't? I don't know, silly. But yeah, like people, like I said, derive their entire opinions off of headlines and like 20 second clips in a fucking nine hour session, right? Someone can derive their opinion off of my actions in a 20 second clip, even though it was a 10 hour life or a 40 hour life, right? Like I get a, I get a quad kill with the, uh, the fucking grenade launcher and it's like, oh, you're using, you're using uh, wall hacks. You're using this, you're doing that. They don't know it's a 40 hour life with like 25 kills. I don't know. It's just ridiculous. That's why I don't even read the comments anymore. It's just no, it's no point. Positive or negative, it's all fucked. But that's how YouTube is. That's the only way to really grow your channel, unfortunately, is the YouTube shorts. So it's still a good way of making stuff, but I wouldn't be doing it if, if it wasn't the only really way for me to grow a channel, you know. So, there you have it. But when one of the shorts gets like 3.5, 4 million views, it's kind of hard not to. But I'd like to get to the point where we just have enough subscriber base that we can uh, make normal videos and have a relative chance of exposure. Because if I make a, re a regular video that's like two hour, an hour long with all the editing that comes goes into it and it gets like 500 views, it's not really worth the time when I could make 25 shorts in that time and get 10 million views you know what I mean so the, the channel's growing pretty good it's I think we're at like 15 almost 15,000 subscribers so if I put in the work I'm just haven't been consistent enough with the shorts but if I put in the short shorts all the time like I'm supposed to be doing and have one at least every day then it'll grow the channel very fast like by the end of the summer probably be over 50,000 subscribers so I just have to stick with it and continue to do it. But the more I play Nemulse, the more clips I can get. These other maps like Livonia and these other maps where I'm doing like goals and stuff and not in a lot of PvP, it's hard to get uh, clips that are really worth posting. Nemulse is just a goddamn gravy train of YouTube content from that perspective. Like, I don't even really care about all that stuff. I just want to make fun content that's, like, fun to watch. You know, cool moments, kills, and all that stuff. But I just don't want to invest all that time for no for no return. So until I get to a certain amount of subscribers on YouTube, then it'll just be mostly shorts and compilations and easy stuff to do because it's just not worth my time. I stream too much, and I've got other shit going on outside of streaming, so... We'll get there eventually. It's just gotta put in some time and effort, that's all. But it's pretty easy to do. YouTube is just so random anyways. You could just post a clip with like an engaging title and it would get 20,000 views, but it could be like nothing. You know what I mean? Whereas you could post something that's really crazy that would never happen in like 5,000 hours of this game and it gets like no views, right? So it's not... The views don't correlate to the content at all, if that makes sense, really. 
That's the online world in a nutshell. Some of the best content gets the, the least exposure, right? And that's, go that's over the whole spectrum of online stuff. Yeah, no, it's just, you know, it's just interesting. It's a social experiment. Interesting to watch because, like I say, the bigger creators, they have a confirmation bias as well. So they could post stuff that's very similar to mine or like lesser, I don't want to say not as impressive or anything, but there's a definite confirmation bias. So if someone has like a million subscribers and they post stuff, it doesn't even have to be that good. You know what I mean? It's always like, hey, we fucking love you. Because... Uh, that's how human beings are in a weird way. A lot of people are all constantly online. And they they want to attach themselves to people that have quote unquote um, influence. And that's how they coin, coin the term influencer. It's like, he has a million followers, so he's, he's smart and I want to be like that and I want to have influence, but they don't really have influence in real life. You see what I mean? It's like, so there's a confirmation bias. It, the lower your subscriber count, the more hate you're going to get. And as you'll, you'll see it with my channel, as the subscribers go up, you're the less, there's going to be a lot less, uh, negative comments. This is how it is. You know, it, they don't actually bother me that much. It's just, it's an interesting thing to watch. I don't do a very good job of exploiting certain things, but. I also have certain standards where, where I'm not really going to dip to below a certain standard, even if it means that I'm going to lose, you know, followers, viewers, whatever, whatever, whatever it might be. Hard to understand for some people, but, you know. Kind of like these dark versions of the hiking boot. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the internet has really good stuff, so. The internet wouldn't, wouldn't, it would never be possible to have just an internet with all informative, interesting stuff to read, you know. Majority of it is pretty garbage, but. That's the way it is, you know. We got to be able to look through it and identify what's bullshit and what isn't and what's useful and what's not. Yeah, they're cracking down on that hot tub content though, for sure. I don't know what the new terms of service say, but I know they're in... Lost some of their... Ability to make money now. Oh, Jesus Christ. That was at me. Don't think it'll change too much. Well, your opinion is not valid because you're a troll. Okay. You're the online trolls that we were talking about. Remember? You want to troll and then you want to have a, a serious conversation? Stick to your trolling, man. Keep making jokes, jokes about fentanyl, you know? What in the fuck? Is the server about to crash? Oh yeah, server's fucked. It's over. It's over. Go hide in a bush. Probably getting DDoSed. A follower for two minutes. What, this seven guy?
I think I'm probably going to die. Follow for two minutes. First scene 18 minutes ago. Asked about the rough file size. Says that I exploit him and sold him fentanyl. Okay. Holy shit, I'm teleporting. No, DJ, I'm not even saying like, oh, I'm affected by this mentally. I'm just saying it's an interesting concept when you really think about it. Some people get really worked up about that kind of stuff. You know, I just want to get to the point where we can make some decent videos. I really don't have that much passion to do too much like extra stuff for video gaming because I'm already kind of at my limit. I'd, I'd like to gradually have a little bit more time to do other important stuff but it does take a lot of time and effort and to uh, grow these these channels you know especially if you're doing it a certain way you know there's a low-hanging fruit type of content where it's like just trying to get the most clicks and you know acting absurd and all that shit but if you're trying to do it in a sort of legitimate way if that can even be a term to use. And it just takes longer, right? But a lot of times when you build a community around it, with a solid foundation, it just it tends to last longer. It's just like a, you think of it like a building, like construction. A lot of these other streamers that are getting like 100,000 viewers, they, like I, I watched this guy with like 100,000 viewers the other day for about ten, five to five minutes. I don't know what the fuck these people are watching these days, but man, it's I think he's like the number one streamer on Twitch. And I don't actually actively search this stuff out, but I was just, I just happened to be watching. And I, I think the guy's on the spectrum, like I, I legit think he's autistic or something. And I, I don't know what the fuck 100,000 people are watching this guy for, but it's, it's beyond me. No, not XQC, no. No, those guys are just like actors. This guy was like legitimately... Mentally, <laughs> something's going on with him. Mentally, I don't fucking know. But that's how it is, I guess. These guys are making boatloads of money, so uh, fucking go for it, you know. Make as much money as you can, but holy shit. What does that say about society that those are the number one things that people are digesting? Like, it's not even healthy for you at all, it gives you nothing. Just complete brain, yeah, it's like brain rot, I don't know, oh, fuck. ADHD, folks. Yeah, well, everybody has ADHD, dude. I get very tired of that term. Every, every one of my friends in school was diagnosed with ADD, ADHD. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't know how much I read into that fucking shit. Really? Oh, it's a real thing, man. I've been fucking taking drugs for it for 20 years. Yeah, well, pharmaceutical companies are making a, a killing. Let me tell you. Go out and exercise and you'll realize a lot of your ADHD symptoms, quote unquote, will disappear. You just don't get it, man. I have ADHD. I just, I can't focus. Da, da, da. Okay. Stop eating fast food and go and exercise every day and tell me how you feel. Oh, I can't do that. <gasps> that is actually so not true. Well, this is the thing. People are so brainwashed that they'll actually, that they'll actually, just like you, that they'll actually go ahead and defend these things. So I'll tell you what, the human brain is super powerful. If you are attacking yourself in that manner, you can actually manifest those symptoms. Do you understand that? People and like, you're so brainwashed that you'll actually defend it. You, you see what I'm saying? I'm not saying that people, some people have a certain brain chemistry where, you know, they're having a hard time focusing and stuff like that, but you can turn that around and you can actually train yourself to focus on certain things and it can actually end up being a positive rather than a negative. But people are told from a young age that they have these conditions. A lot of it has to do with pharmaceutical companies making money. That's like the biggest thing that you don't understand. And the second thing is... <laughs> 
it's not even that much of a negative. It can be turned into a positive if you learn how to control it. And like, there's a lot of things when you're younger that play a factor into it. But I'm so sick of hearing people with a depression thing, with the fucking ADHD. It's like, when I talk about these things, people will actually defend it. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's fucking nuts. Do you realize that you're defending... You know what I mean? It's like, I've got depression. It's fucking real, dude. I, it's real. Like, that's your body's signal that you're not doing shit in your real life. Go out and exercise. Eat right. Sleep right. Then you're probably not going to be depressed. It's like, no, you don't understand. I'm going to defend this depression to the fucking... To my grave. And you wonder why you never get out of it. These fucking people, man. Crazy. But anyway, that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. I'm not saying it's not real, but it's a very broad term, and a lot of it has to do with pharmaceutical companies. Believe me. Same with depression, same with all that shit. I'm try, I try to, like, I, I legitimately try to help people. And not that I'm, like, a therapist or da 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 or PhD or whatever, but, like, I'm trying to make a positive change on these subjects and try to help people that are affected. Like, some people are crippled by those things. And maybe they do have the symptoms and maybe they do have some issues, but it's, like, there are other ways to go about it and there's ways to make it a positive for you. Rather than just taking the drugs that you're told to take, rather than sitting there crippled on your phone all day, like, I'm depressed, I don't, like, I'm telling you, sleep at least fucking seven hours, drink a lot of water, take care of yourself, exercise. Most, like, 90% of people are going to get rid of those symptoms. And everybody feels that way from time to time. It's okay to feel down. It's okay to feel, like, scatterbrained and stuff like that. But there's ways to circumvent that and get around it. But people are just told... No, you have a disability. You're fuck. You're you're done. You you're told that as a kid. And then they defend it. That's what I mean. You're like you're kind of brainwashed into defending it. You see what I mean? People don't take care of themselves. They don't do anything and it's like I feel terrible. Well, no shit. That's your body's signaling you to do something about it. I have anxiety. Well, you're not taking care of things that you should be doing in your life. That's why you have anxiety. You realize that. Oh, 100%. Food is super important. That's all I mean. Like, if, if you're having trouble with ADHD and all this shit, I'm telling you. Like I said, one more time. Sleep. A lot of people don't get enough sleep. They're sitting on their phones all the time. A lot of people are dehydrated. They don't take uh, multivitamins. Their, their diet's shit. They eat processed food all the time. It's like poison. They drink a lot. They have, you know, they're smoking dope all day, whatever. Uh, they don't have any meaningful relationships. And then they take all these pills. And it's like, no wonder you feel like shit. No wonder. You do not have their experiences. Well, who are you to say that I haven't... Uh, you know what I mean? Felt down or I was told I had ADHD. I never took any Ritalin. They tried to give it to me when I was a kid. I mean, what percentage of kids want to actually sit in class all day? You know what I mean? It's like, no wonder we're bouncing off the walls and we got A plus in gym class because that was our way of getting out of the trap of sitting down in school all day. Like, I don't know. But anyway, most kids, I would say it's normal to feel that way and to be, you know, jumping off the walls to get out of class, right? I don't know. Yeah, but you have a healthy mind. Well, how do you know why that I have a healthy mind? You know what I mean? Like, how do you know? I, I speak from experience, right? I'm not speaking for others. I literally told you that this is my opinion. You understand what that means? And people get offended by this kind of talk or the problem. Like 
that's what I mean in the whole defending thing. It's, it's kind of a, it's like a mental illness. I really think it is. Like, oh, you can't speak for me. You don't know what I've been through. Well, you don't know what I've been through either. And maybe I'm speaking through experience. And maybe at the end of the day, you should probably take into consideration other people's opinions because they might know a little bit more about life than you do. You know what I mean? Instead of being like, no, oh, fuck this guy. He's trying to give me concrete steps to, to feel better in my life and to get around this whole ADHD depression bullshit. But you'd rather be stuck in your own ways and be like, you know, fuck your opinion. You can't speak for me. My doctor told me there's something wrong with me. And it's like a, some weird illness you get stuck into, right? I don't know. But that's my opinion. What if you weren't trained to mind yourself as a youth? Like I said, there's lots of shit that happened to me as a kid that I'm not going to speak about here, but there's a lot of us that didn't have much direction, you know? You just have to... Uh... <laughs> You're just preaching to some NPCs. No, I'm not preaching. I'm just We're just having a talk. It's okay. Everything's fine. I'm waiting for the server to, to stabilize, but... I just, every time I hear that ADHD shit and the depression stuff, it just, it bothers me. But that's all. That's my opinion. Like I said, it, this shouldn't offend you in any way. It really shouldn't. And you can do whatever, the, whatever you want to do in your life. At the end of the day. You know what I mean? What? Let's see if this thing's stable out. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one. Doesn't make them right. True. Yeah, you can disregard everything I said. It's all good. Like I said, I just speak from personal experience. And everything I told you is 100% true. That sounds very arrogant to say, but I'm, I'm telling you from experience. Sleep well, eat well, work out like six times a week until exhaustion. Okay. That's what a lot of people don't have is consistency. People think I'm insane because I've been going to the gym for eight years or nine years. My whole life I've been working out. And that's not like I'm better than you. I do that for my own mental clarity more so than physical now at this point. It's more maintenance. But people don't realize that kind of commitment. They think I'm insane when I'm on vacation and working out every day. They think I'm insane when I'm fucking doing all this shit. That's because I'm putting in the work. And that's what scares a lot of people. They don't have any... Uh, like, I'm strict about it, man. I'm strict about it, and there I feel good every day because of it. And if I don't work out and I don't do the things that I told you about, I feel like shit. Right? So, if you can, if you can say to me that you're doing all of those things, which you probably aren't, and you still feel like shit, then maybe you go to a doctor and... and, and uh, get something to help you but guess what 99% of the people that are having those issues don't do it and if they do it they do it for like a week do it for a full year and then come back and tell me how you feel and it's like well I don't want to do that well then just get offended by every, everything I have to say And Cup, you can, you can tell me all your issues and everything like that. It, it's kind of irrelevant. You know what I mean? There's people with disabilities. There's guys that have lost limbs that are working out at my gym. And they don't pity themselves. You know what I mean? They don't use that as like a, oh, well, you don't know, man. Like, I, I've got this and that. Like, we all have issues. 
And I would not look to pity farm because you're not going to get anywhere with that kind of mentality. And the attitude is just... It's... Yeah. So you can, you can sit there and be like, Oh, I've been headed a shit card in life and I just... You know, I've been dealt a shitty card and I can't uh, get past it. Well, with that mentality, you're not going to go anywhere. Why even acknowledge these people? I'm, I'm fine, man. Everything's good. We can talk about things. This is life. You think I'm like out of control? I can't... Uh, I choose what to engage with on my channel. So if you think this is a negative thing to talk about these things, then I don't know what to tell you. It's a dead zombie over there. It's like, why even engage? Well, why even talk to anyone in life at all? Right? I see this as a positive thing to talk to people. It's not, it's okay. It's, it's okay to be, have a little conflict every now and then. It's not like we're attacking each other. It's just, this is how you learn. Right? Everyone's like, no politics, no talking about real life, no talking about mental illness, no talking about this, no fucking talking about your opinions. Stick to the script and fucking grab that sporter and shoot someone. You know what I mean? It's like, Daisy's a pretty base level, like this is a fucking video game at the end of the day. It's okay to talk about real life. I know that some people like want to hide from it. You know, but it's okay to talk about it every now and then. We'll, we'll go back into the server when it's not being DDoS. And then we'll get lost in Daisy. but it's not a bad thing to talk about these things. Don't be afraid of discussing stuff, you know? Right? Sorry guys, the server just went down again. All right, the server's going back up. I'm not sure what the deal is. I guess we'll keep trying to get in. But... I also have a backup game that we could try if the servers are just going to be screwed today. So, we'll see. Let's play for a little bit longer. We'll see how it feels. We're back in. Now yeah, guys, this isn't a conversation about anything other than what we talked about. And like I said, it's okay to have a conversation. Everyone's fine, right? We're all alive for now. And everything's fine. That's what I mean. It's part of growing up. You can have conversations. You can move on. You can agree to disagree even. But. It's not a. These conversations aren't meant to spark some crazy debates about fucking COVID masks and stuff like that. You know what I mean? So. 
That's the thing. We can have these conversations, and then we can move on and play the game. We're good, right? Everything's good. I mean, like, objectively, with the COVID mask thing, if you, if you are paying attention at all, and I really mean this, and this is the truth again, and it might hurt your feelings. Oh, there's a battery. Those co like, the masks were more for people's comfort levels than they were for actually uh, completely stopping the spread of the virus. That's actually scientifically proven. It's not conspiratorial. It's not... You can go and look at Fauci talking about the masks and how they flip-flop back and forth with that. So that's the truth behind that. Let's just get that straight. The whole mask thing was, was garbage from the beginning. But, you know, if you want to wear it, a lot of it was virtue signaling. Again, this is going to hurt your feelings. And a lot of the lockdowns were completely ineffective. That's another fact. <laughs> and uh, I don't even want to get into the vaccines. So let's just leave it at that. And I really mean that. If, you, <laughs> if you're that brainwashed, like you need to go in and look at the facts of what actually happened. Because, yeah, it was a big wake-up call for a lot of people. Seeing how many people conform to the norm... Same thing with this whole PTSD, fucking depression, all this shit. People just follow what they're told. But yeah, let's not go there. But since that's going to ruffle a few feathers, let's go emote only for a bit. And just like the government, if we don't like what we're hearing, what do we do, guys? We shut them down. I'm using the Fauci tactic right here, folks. I bring up a few simple truths so you don't like it. Well, guess what? It's not a democracy, folks. It's a dictatorship. So we shut them down. I'm using government tactics. Like I said, I know that will offend a lot of you. But, uh, yeah. The truth hurts, man. The truth hurts. If you want to wear a mask and drive around in your vehicle to this day by yourself, because you think you're, you're going to get some, like, virtue out of it. And so be it. But you're a fucking idiot if you do that. I really mean that. And that's the truth. Welcome to my TED Talk. What's up, Justin? I was in a bad spot in my family past and my mother was ill. Well, that's what I mean, DJ. Yeah. It's not a bad thing to... T yeah. In order to take care of other people, you have to sort of be in a good position yourself. It took me 10 years of improvement to be where I am today and... A whole, not a lot of people are going to put 10 years into themselves to get to a, this point, so. If it was 10 years ago, I might be a whole different person. But hard work, dedication over 10 years will definitely give you a different mindset.
Okay, so we got one piece of the puzzle. Now we need to get a glow plug for the Humvee. That's probably not there anymore. But if we head west, I think we're going to run into a lot of industrial spawns. You can see how laggy the server is, look. Yeah, it's getting DDoS for sure. But we're going to try to make some progress while it's getting DDoS. We just need to head northwest. No, Nismo, the YouTube people know how to handle themselves. Alright. That's right, DJ. This will this game will teach you how to the ups and the high, the highs and the lows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, guys. I've been working on me for 65 years. And I can say that I'm now less of an idiot. That's good, Rockwell. 65 years, that's a long time. No, no, there's no timeouts. I'm not, uh, we did, yeah, we don't need to argue. The moment it starts getting out of hand, we just have to calm it down for a minute. Everybody take a chill pill. You know what I mean? It's fine. What is the best pizza topping? Obviously, uh, pineapples. It's pretty obviously a pineapple. I'm probably going to have to go back in emote only mode because of that comment, but that's okay. I stand I stand be uh, behind my statement. Hawaiian pizza is the best. Everybody knows that. I had uh, ham and pineapple. Nice. That's a good combo, dude. Pineapple pizza was invented in Canada. Google it, really? Interesting. Everything is like two seconds delayed. I feel like I'm on Aussie ping.
Yeah, so unfortunately the servers are getting DDoS right now. But, we're still making progress. Important test tomorrow. Good luck, man. Better get some cram studying in. What are you taking again, Sosa? I think Sosa's getting his master's in uh, gender studies. Once Sosa graduates, we're going to be able to tell the difference between a male and female. It's going to be groundbreaking. Sosa, you're our last fucking hope. Sosa's gonna make a fucking documentary. What is a woman? Gender studies is much harder. To yeah, well, there's so many, right? That's right. Save the world, Sosa. <laughs> Sosa for president in Canada. Listen, we don't have a fucking president here, okay? It's a prime minister? Jesus Christ. Get it right, man. All the U.S. citizens are like, why? You don't have a president? Alright guys, we're looking for that glow plug. Come on, baby. We need it. Box shot and glow plugs. That's what we need. There's a freaking moose over there in the field too. That's what I ride to to work every day. I get up out of my igloo. Hop on my moose. I don't feed it anything, I just give it maple syrup. I want a vehicle that runs off of pure maple syrup. Fuck your Tesla. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna destroy every goddamn maple tree in the world. When the apocalypse comes, I'm gonna run my shit off maple syrup. an old cheddar. Jalapen old cheddar. A lot of food over here. Holy sh smokes. <clears throat> yeah, gel uh, gel like a jalapeno dipping sauce. I know a lot of you guys don't have dipping sauce for your, uh, ooh, spark plug. Do you guys use dipping sauce in the States on your pizza? I don't think they do that in Europe. They get pissed. You use dipping sauce on your pizza? Yeah, you get a 
ham and pineapple with a little bit of jalapeno dip. It's pretty good. Uh, people are like, what? You have dips for your pizza? Oh, glow plug. Yes. We got it. Fuck yeah. It's a two slaughter. There it is. Yo, we're going to the Humvee right now. It better be there, dude. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> so you're dipping sauce and sauce. Listen. Get a Hawaiian pizza, get a little bit of jalapeno cheddar sauce, and just a little dip. You know the end of the pizza, just a little, the pointy end, just a little dip, a little bit on the crust maybe. It's perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. And then you take your good, your steak, and you put a little ketchup on it, you know? Not much. I'm not talking a lot. Pepper, a little bit of ketchup. I know you're not going to like it, but a little bit of ketchup, you know. <laughs> if it's not a... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Uh, listen, guys, I know all of you fill up your, your bowls with milk, and then you put your cereal, cereal in. I, I get it. You wear your masks in your car alone. You got all your boosters, and you fill up your fucking bowl with milk. And then cereal. Like, I know what kind of people you are, okay? I know your type. Heresy. <laughs> uh. No, but I, as a kid, I put ketchup on everything. Like, everything. I still put ketchup on eggs. I had uh, ground beef, lean ground beef with some eggs in the morning. Put a little ketchup on there. I'm not talking a lot. I'm talking a few little circles. It was perfect. I think it's the sugar inside of the ketchup that I really like. I don't know. Gross? What do you mean Gross. Ketchup is good, man. I had salt, I had salt, pepper, and I actually put a little bit of um, seasoning salt on the ground beef. Yeah, it's basically just sugar, yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. So the Humvee that we saw was at the end of this road at a big city. Jackson Falls is a big one. About twice the size of Tyler and about half the frame rate. We saw it there and I guarantee you some dummy went up and took all the wheels off. I guarantee you some dummy went over there. Hey, let me take all the wheels off this thing. I should have hid them myself. <laughs> Texas. Texas. Easy on the timeouts, okay? I'll do the timeouts. You can untimeout Ollie. Fucking make her a mod and she's going power hungry, man. She's going to be Hitler in a week. We need to take over all of Twitch. How do I ban people in other people's chats? Jesus, Texas. Gotta be able to handle the power, you know. I was going to in 10 seconds anyway, okay. Mm. We, got tech, we got Texas on a trial run as a moderator. She's going power hungry already. It's not good. 
You see people like, I would never ban anyone or time anyone out. And then they get the power and it's like, they start getting twisted. She said coffee was nasty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Holly's special, okay? She has like a face tattoo and weird bull piercing in her nose. She's got ADHD as well. She's really out there. She can't be held responsible for what she's saying. Is that a drivable vehicle over there? I took that spark plug, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Fingers crossed my edgy political comments. Well, there's a difference between having a conversation and a full on, you know, you know. Like politics is so corrupt. It's so corrupt nowadays, if you, t if you say the truth, then that's considered edgy. But there's a difference between being, you know... A lot of you guys go in with the intention of making a conflict, right? But if you simply state something that's true, and you, people have like an adverse reaction to it, I can't, they can't really be helped. What kind of sick fuck puts milk in the bowl? Most of the people in chat, I think, actually. They told me. <clears throat> they said they like black licorice, black olives. They don't like Hawaiian pizza. Like, I don't know. They're sick. They need to be re-educated. Holly posted a, a video in, in Discord of just pouring milk right to the brim of the bowl. And then she left the, she put the cereal in and left it for like 20 minutes. It was all soggy and then she ate it. Disgusting. And ever since then I make fun of it. And she gets really pissed off. Yeah. She posted a 20 minute video in 4K resolution. I don't know why. It's sick. I don't even know how she got it through Discord because I'm pretty sure that's like not even possible. But I think she's a hacker actually. Hacking the system. Uh, she's actually DDoSing the server right now. <laughs> she's part of 4chan or whatever. Liar. Yeah, well. Yeah, Holly's not even a girl. It's just some fucking sweaty dude in the basement. Wears one of those masks from V for Vendetta, but it's his face is so fat that at the bottom you can see like a triple chin <laughs> just coming out the bottom. I'm just like V for Vendetta, man. I love that. It's my favorite movie. V for... <laughs> it's a good movie, actually. It's a funny, funny uh, scene, though. Picture that guy. Sleeps in that mask. Thinks he's like some kind of revolutionary. <laughs> I'm gonna watch V for Vendetta tonight, I think, actually. That's my ex-girlfriend on it. She's an actor in that movie. I had to get rid of her. She doesn't like video games. That's okay, though. That's a red flag right there. This is a good idea. <clears throat> Guy 
guys, we're, we're very close to the potential Humvee. I hope it's still there. Yeah, I sent him in. I dumped her. Dumped her. She said she didn't like DayZ and the fact that I played it like six to eight hours a day at least. Yeah, she saw that we're a land peasant. She's like, oh, I've had enough. Can't be dating someone without a helicopter, huh? That's what we got to talk to Maddie about. I want him to add a helicopter. <clears throat> I want Maddie to add one little bird helicopter to this map and not tell anybody. Dude, we should we should get Maddie. To add that, right? The parts only spawn inside of the missile silo that he's making right now. The final bunker. And then you have to climb to like the top of Mount Doom. One of these fucking giant uh, mountains. And just don't tell anybody. How sick would that be? All of a sudden you just see a fucking little bird go... <laughs> or a fighter jet. They have fighter jet mods in this, right? How bad are the fighter jets? Is there even a fighter jet mod for this? It's gotta be, right? If you can have fighter jets in Arma, you could probably have fighter jets in this. There's a punch card, I've seen it. Yeah, it's not, uh, there used to be a bunker. But they removed it. I think there was a bunker at the toxic zone. Found someone with a helicopter? Yeah, I don't blame her. <clears throat> How sick would it be to have your own personal helicopter? Just a helipad at your, on your roof? Dude, I don't know. I really think that after playing so much Livonia, adding a helicopter is such a simple way to make things interesting. If it doesn't affect this performance of the server that much, I say it's a pretty much a net positive. But then you know all those fuckers would come and make like a goddamn cult. So maybe you'd have to add two. They just control two of them and it would be bad, but in, in uh, you know, in theory it's a good idea. What kind of commuter you do in FLDR, huh? Who has the longest commute to work here? There's nothing worse than commuting to work for like an hour each way. Seven seconds to my work from my home PC. Well, some of you guys work from home, huh? Some of you guys work. Yeah, it'd be cool, man. I'm, I'm like, I'm co uh, contemplating. What is the, um, what is flight sim like? Does flight sim have helicopters? It's pretty hardcore, isn't it? Those guys have like legitimate uh, pedals and the full flight sim setup. You work offshore, huh? Yeah, there's a few guys that work on rigs offshore. Some of us are re retired. What did you, uh, retired, huh? What do you do with your free time? I 
I demand a shut the hell up emote. Well, I could get one that's shut the hell up. And then you can combine them. Or just make it, uh, yeah. Ooh, CR. You work from home, Holly? Really? Don't you work for like Nintendo or some shit? Or is that someone different? I think I'm going to take this CR. So ever since COVID, you work from home, huh? And then you told them, go fuck yourself when they asked you to come back. Or have you always worked at home? I don't know. Working at home has its perks. Let me tell you. Uh, I'm now completely hermit crabbed up. I only touch grass to go to the gym. That's it. The introvert's fucking wet dream. Don't have to pretend I like people now. It's pretty cool, you know. They adapted to remote or hybrid with most positions, yeah. Wait, so you can get me a Switch for free? Holly, is that what you're saying? You heard her say that, right, guys? She's going to get us all switches for free. Build my gym at home. I did for COVID, yeah. I had to buy all the equipment I spent thousands of dollars on. It's terrible. Well, not terrible, but... Not free, but dis discounted? What's uh what's your what's your creator code, huh? Holly slash milk before cereal, fifteen percent off. Just use the code milk before cereal for twenty five percent off. Oh, I hate grass. I hate, it gives me like uh, I don't mind the smell of mowed grass, but I think it's like gives me allergies nowadays. I think. As an electrician. Oh yeah, Sparky. Got ourselves a Sparky in chat, huh? Yeah, that's all you need, man. I had a bench. I bought a bench. I bought a barbell. I bought how many 45 pound plates? I think I had 10 45 pound plates. A couple of 10s, a couple of rubber 25s. I had a, like a, what would you call that? A little curl bar that was bent. I don't even know how to describe that. What else did I have? I had uh, some dumbbells. And that's all you really need. I had to get padding for my floor and shit. It was expensive though. Yeah, easy bar I guess. Yeah, easy curl bar. And the bench had a preacher attachment. So you could just put the attachment on the end. So that was pretty good. Oh yeah, I bought a squat rack too. So I still have a lot of that stuff. It's in storage. I threw away the bench actually. I went and uh, threw it in the dump. It's too fucking cumbersome to be stored. Alright, this is the big new city. We gotta creep in, see, uh, locate the Humvee if it's still there, and then cry about it if it's not. It's a dangerous area too, we've only got one buckshot. There's some good loot to be had. I wanna see if I can commandeer that Humvee if it's still there, drive it out of town and come back.
10 mile walk to get a Hummer. Listen, dude. Life is about overcoming obstacles. Enjoy this moment. What do you want me to join a server where I can spawn in a Humvee? Is that what you want? Unlimited stamina? Traders and shit do drug runs? Well, actually, now that you mention it, yeah. That would be kind of convenient. Dude, I want to suffer, man. I want to suffer. I don't even want this... I'll tell you what. I don't want this Humvee to be here. I'll go as far as that, you know. I don't even want this Humvee to be here. I want it to be on, on fucking cinder blocks. I want... I want all the wheels to be gone. I want to suffer as much as possible. This is what you guys came to see. Suffering. I want to see a group of four fully geared Discord guys roll up, put all the parts in, and just slowly drive by, honking the horn at me. That'd be the beginning of a good revenge arc, you know? They see us and they're like, man, this guy is so pathetic, we don't even have to kill him. Hey, there's the White House. That's my base right there. I built that while I was, while I was offline. I didn't want to build a base while I was streaming. So I built that last night. Fortified, look at that. Hey. So the place where the Humvee was is right over here. <clears throat> Cue the dramatic music. I think it was in this compound here. Come on, baby. It's like a mafia hit as soon as I start it and just blows up. Oh, <gasps> it's still there. All the wheels are on it. We're, we're in business. What should I do? Should I just drive it away? We got to get fuel for this thing and shit. Dude, look at it. It's missing doors and shit. Is there a spare on the roof? What is that? There's an extra spare on the roof? I didn't know that. Here we go. Fucking A. We gotta go and stash this thing while we find like a jerry can and some gear and shit. Yeah, it's almost empty on fuel too. Fuck. Yeah, brother. Fucking rev it up. How do I get out of this place? Driving a Humvee during a DDoS attack. What could go wrong?
looked like a oh yeah just a hole for the turret it looked like a spare tire I already took the spare out of this thing okay so let's just find it let's just tuck this thing away for now Jesus Christ, that's good. This thing's so loud. And smash it against a tree. It's a fucking Hummer, okay? I think I'm gonna have to take this off. Man, that's awesome. It's still there. Okay, so we take this out with us. <clears throat> Hell yeah, brother. I mean, the cool thing about the Humvee is it actually does camo pretty well. Not bad. <clears throat> Just one sec. I'm just gonna verify my location. Uh, okay, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> location has been identified. All right, let's. Uh, we need a jerry can. We need to find a fuel station. I guess I could fill these two up. This is not going to do much though, is it? Uh, we should probably go and loot some of that military shit. At least if we get shot, then we know. We just have to find another. <laughs> I kind of want to stash the battery in the glow plug. I'm not ready to be tri ripping around in a Humvee yet. You know? Uh, how you doing, Redneck? <clears throat> Good evening from Texas. How you doing, Trigger? Yeah, this is a map that's in development. It's almost finished. It's called Bitterroot. Bitterroot, Montana. Gas yeah, station back where you got it. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't think so. It's a brand new city, so there's got to be a gas station there, right? Let's go in. Let's try to get... I'm kind of worried now. I don't really have anything to protect us against the demons. Discordian demons. Oh, there's a freaking gas station right there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We walk through a gas station. We need a jerry can. We need a jerry can and some better guns. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's right there. You really from Texas? How many suppressors you got there, boy? I got a goddamn suppressor on my coffee coffee mug, all right? Says how, that's how Texan I am. I got a suppressor on my coffee mug. I got a suppressor on my wife. I got a suppressor on everything. Uh, yeah, I could just drive it to the fuel station as is, but I'm a little bit worried. I want to get at least a decent gun for us. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, so we're just dealing with the DDoS and the server crashing, so every now and then it's going to go down like this, but that's okay. <laughs> I haven't found a suppressor that works on my wife yet. She's got a big barrel, doesn't she? She got that custom sized barrel. Unique size, very large. Hard to muffle that. Try credit card with no limit. <laughs> uh, our marriage is built on trust and love and a no credit, no limit credit card. Little baby Highland cow would silence me for quite a while. <laughs> what does that mean? Your silence can be bought, huh? You're bought and paid for? Till it grows up. Well, then you just eat it, right? Are Highland cows good for eating? So you raise it up as a, and then you eat it. What the hell is wrong with you guys? How sick are you guys, huh? First of all, it's very cruel and inhumane to eat meat. Everybody in here is a vegan. So fucking get with the, get with the times. We all are vegans in here. Right, guys? I think my diet is like 95% meat. <laughs> I'm pretty much carnivore, I think. I basically just do a carnivore diet. Super offensive. I hate vegetarians. <laughs> Dude, the carnivore diet is actually legit, man. I'm telling you. People that, you know, have weight problems and uh, a lot of mood issues. Sometimes, it's not always, always, but if you cut out a lot of carbs, like carbs are brutal, man. Processed food, carbs and stuff. If you try to change your diet, you, it might work for you, you know. A lot of people lose a lot of weight on that carnivore diet. <clears throat> I mean, I like to have some fruit every now and then. I have a smoothie with the protein powder in it at night and shit. I like fruits. I don't mind some vegetables, but uh, I actually like Brussels sprouts with like, I don't know, like a steamed Brussels sprout or broccoli and shit. I don't mind. But mostly meat. That's all I really want. You know, chicken. I have a lot of salmon. Beef and chicken. 
So if you can get some some fish in you, a little bit of a balance. Uh, yeah, I don't doubt it, King. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that carnivore shit will get you. I think it takes a while for your body to adjust, but... I'm not a huge believer, like, advocate for extreme diets, but... It's interesting. Eggs, I eat a lot of eggs, man. They say that your cholesterol might get higher if you eat so many eggs, but uh, fuck. I eat a lot of eggs. What's going on, Beaker? You can get... Co yeah, but the thing is, it's like... With every diet, you're going to hear detractors that are like... If you do this, you're going to die of cancer. You know what I mean? It's like... You ever notice that? You eat too much meat, you're going to die of cancer. And it's like... All the elites are now talking about no meat and shit. As soon as the elites start talking about no meat and how they want to get rid of it, I'm fucking... <laughs> I'm against it, you know? When the elites start talking about you eating bugs, that's a good idea. There should be some good guns in here. Actually, more so over on the other side. Ever seen a hair worm in a bug? The fuck does that mean? This blade's about to go bye bye. Oh, there's a lot of zombies here. They seem to be bugging out here, though. You ever heard of the fatal funnel before, zombies? <gasps> oh, I'm, I'm, whoa! <laughs> they, they're like, oh, fatal funnel, huh? Shit. Let me in the White House. <laughs> this is not good. They got me in the fatal funnel. I bleed now. <gasps> they can get through the door, but I can't. I'm in the fatal funnel. And uh, that's the end of the stream, folks. Thanks for watching. Yeah, the, the zombies can run through that door, but I can't, you know. This is fucking... It's bullshit. That's how Noah died. Did he die to a door not opening? <laughs> and he got fucking jammed by zombies? And I stopped watching The Walking Dead after like three episodes. I think I'm going to be out of blood here. I probably have about 17 cuts. You can see how... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <gasps> Guys, this is really bad. No. Dude, we're out of blood completely. Okay, don't worry. There's a sailing bag in these tents. Don't worry. We're fine. We might be passing out for about three hours, but it's okay. Everything's fine. Dude. Ronson and Ronson. Can't believe you lived. Ah, uh, no, the zombies don't kill you anymore. See, back in my day, zombies used to kill your ass. They would just continue to beat you to death. That would have been a death, but... We're fine.
We're gonna find a saline bag here, guys. Come on. This is all part of the plot. Ooh, SR25 magazine. Come on, saline. Just walk it off, ha 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 ha. Put some dirt in it, ha ha. Yeah, it's all fun and games to watch me suffer, huh? After all I do for you guys. I'm over here in uncharted waters, all alone, no moral support, being attacked from left and right. All you guys got to say is put some dirt in it. Unbelievable. Eh? Hey? After all I've done for you guys. Holy shit. Dude, it's the same bugged out zombie as before, right? Put it on the list. This guy's breaking my immersion. Look at his neck. You guys remember that guy from yesterday? It's the same plate zombie with the elongated neck. Fucking giraffe zombie over here. It's actually the, the chin strap of the, <laughs> the helmet. It's elongated. Giraffe zombie. Oh, I'm about to take another tactical nap here. See, in these tents, they're probably going to be a sailing, hopefully. Ivy sailing. Uh, pretty good bear. We got a Humvee. We got a Humvee, but I was reading chat and then I got fucking clobbered by like 56 zombies. Someone wrote a really long, like, essay-like statement in the chat. And being the person, very personable, I had to read the whole thing. And my reading skills are very shitty. So I read the whole thing and then I was out like a light. Chat got me fucked up. Wait, where are those, uh, where are those bones? Where did I put them bones? Don't blame chat. Uh, I can do whatever I want. It'd be nice if you guys took some ownership for your actions every now and then, you know? I've realized it's a lot funner for to have a teammate going down unconscious than it is to be the one that's going down unconscious. Quite the revelation, you know. Passing out from blood loss is one of the worst things in the game. Except for when it's your teammate. Because that, because then it's really funny. I love watching people pass out in this game. It's hilarious. By chance at the far north military next to the Livonia Tower? Absolutely not. My Humvee is stashed and gone, boy. She gone. Uh, don't buy your meat from a grocery store. Get in touch with the local farmer. Yeah, if you can get it direct from the source, right? The thing is, they they push a lot of like the, what would you say, organic stuff, right? It's like, this is organic and this and that, and it's so much more expensive. When in reality, I feel like it should just be, all of it should be pretty much organic. You know what I mean? 
It's like, oh, free of steroids and antibiotics. Let's get all our stuff up. Our blood will regen faster. Well, if we can get that plate off that zombie, the helmet, we should be able to find a rifle here. I can't remember what we found last time. I think it was a bunch of M16s. Tell the difference between a uh, fresh farm egg, yeah. Now, I'm hoping there's a saline in the tent, so I think we're going to be solid blood here soon, hopefully. We lost a lot of blood, though. Very fast. We had three cuts. Uh, what's up, Sean? So hopefully it doesn't take too long. Like, how long does it take to typically to get stabilized with your blood? Like, 20 minutes? Roughly. Yeah, as soon as we're stable blood, we can go back out there. I don't think it'd be too long. I usually never get this state of blood unless I get stuck inside of a door that's not even closed. Yeah, I was stuck and reading chat at the same time, multitasking. Just a really unfortunate circumstance, you know. I don't know. Would having a buff in this situation help me at all? I'm not sure. I think the health is determinant too to how long it takes. I'm pretty sure the health is... The water is definitely in the health. So full health you'd regen fa uh, faster. I don't even know if you get a buff off of this. Yeah, hopefully there's a saline in those tents and an Ivy Star kit. Just pass out right on top of the, the cooker and just burn, scold myself. I saw somewhere if you lay down, it speeds it up. Hmm.
This is freaking brutal, isn't it? Let's be smart about this. Before Jim Bob shows up. Old Jim Bob. SR25 308. That would be a nice addition. Dude, I want to go and pick up freshies with a Humvee and torture them, you know? To get the buff, your calorie usage goes down, yeah. You right. Hey, uh, Himmy took for granted, Redneck. Appreciate the follows, guys. Seven, Cooper, Chuck, Be More, Caper, Hollow Man. Welcome on in. Stick, Wonder Bread. All right. Our blood's gonna be fucking mint in a second. I'm just gonna grab my food. You guys fucking hold the fort down, scream if you see something, if you hear anything. I think I passed out about eight times. So chat should self-flatulate eight times. So what you guys gotta do is you gotta get a whip. And, and whip your back eight times, each one of you. As, uh, you know, what is it, repentance or some shit? You know what I'm saying. Get the fucking whips, and then we can move on. A price has to be play, uh, paid in blood. They gave me flowers and a fucking pizza card that I never used. And uh, fuck what I want flowers for, you know. So I put them outside on my deck. I have a ground floor unit. And I left them. It's been, they've been out there for like seven months. So it's just this dead flower sitting there. And uh, he was making fun of me. He's like, oh, uh, I recognize your fucking place. It's a dead flower out front. Anyway. Fucking guy. What do I want a flower for, okay? It's not my problem if it dies. I'm not tending to a flower plant. Yo, someone's here. Yo. Brother. You hear me? Fuck, this is really not good. We might be dead. Somebody's jumping around. What the fuck? We gotta talk to this guy somehow. Yeah, the door's locked for now, but should I tell him about my blood situation? If he's smart, he already heard me passing out. I have to try to talk to this guy. Yo! Brother, I need help. I know you're out there. I need you. Listen to me. I have a Humvee, okay? You wanna drive around in a Humvee? I need your help. Fuck. I got pills for you too if you're sne if you're sick. Dude, this guy's definitely out there. I think what we do is this. We shoot, we get all the zombies d down below to cover us. Until we can get our blood. We want, I want all the zombies over here. He's in the building over there, Coffin. Yes, my darlings, come closer. Is 
They're gonna cover us. I'm almost I'm almost good on my blood. Someone locked me in here. What headset you have? I have a sign uh Sennheiser. Five nine nine SEs. They're a little bit different though. They're they're not your average headset. They're more for like other things. A good headset though. Just have to watch like what plugs you have. And I'm I'm about to fucking if this guy pushes us, I'm gonna throw the car battery in the glow plug. That's all I care about. If we get rid of this backpack, you might not be able to find it. Yo, you hear me? Yell if you hear me, you sick fuck. I need your help. This is a cook situation, isn't it? What's going on? Well, chat distracted me. I got glitched inside of an invisible door. The zombies beat me too, down to the, to this. And now somebody else showed up and they're sneezing and not talking to us. And we got a Humvee. I've got the parts. The Humvee, Humvee stash. I just gotta get. I barely have anything. I have one shot with a shotgun and a grenade. So how am I not full health yet, guys? Is health regen tied to blood, or is it the other way around? I've been chunked health for like 20 minutes. It doesn't even make sense. I can't multitask, Holly. If you played this game and tried to talk to chat at the same time, your head would explode. Yeah, that's just like playing at a low level, okay? You need to shut the hell up, Holly. Your fucking head would explode. You'd be like... Bleh, bleh, bleh. That's exactly the sound that it would make. Do you understand what it's like to talk and fucking play at the same time? Daisy? It's not, you know, some people make it look easy. And be funny as I am. I'm a goddamn comedian, right? Like, give me a break. Can't multitask. I can make fun of you, fix my armor, and dominate the server at the same time. Hey? Eh? I'm a female. That's easy. Ugh. <sighs> All I have to do is sigh, you know? That's it. I always used to wonder why my mom would sigh all the time. And now I sigh all the time because of you fucking people. And when there's nothing else to say, you know? I know this has been taking a long time, Andalee, I know. Oh, we're good. Okay, we're solid blood. This other guy is literally... I think he ran away. He's not sneezing anymore. What the hell are we going to do, though? Probably... I don't know. I don't know. I have to get that plate carrier off that zombie. There's uh, mill tents on the far side. And they have guns and shit. I think I'm better off just getting out of this area, honestly. Because I... Uh, this is too dicey. It'd be sick if I could jump out of this window and break my leg, you know? Anyway. Fuck it. Yeah, you think laid, laying down helps? That guy might have been really low gear and ran away. I don't know. I don't hear him. Yo, let's get that, that plate zombie.
Where the fuck is he going? This fucking guy. There he is. Long neck Larry, get in here, buddy. This is the glitching head strap, dude. I gotta bind these windows. You wanna see, you wanna get kicked in the nuts, Larry? Yeah, I fucked it up. You can definitely do that. Keep in mind there's about a 30 frame loss when you come in this city. So fighting zombies becomes a bit of a pain when you're in this city. It's a whole long neck Larry. Hell yeah. That gives us a lot more survivability. Huh? Yeah, so you can get on your back and <clears throat> kick people. It doesn't do any damage, but it stuns them. You can stun lock your buddy into oblivion. If he's pissing you off, just wait. If he's sitting in a corner like this and he's pissing you off, just go like this. And just start kicking him in the shins and he'll just fall into the wall. Yeah, it's pretty great. And it's good because it doesn't hurt him at all either. So it's like, D what, dude? It's not even hurting you. It does wreck your shoes pretty fast, though. Ask me how I know. Okay. Somehow I've got to sneak over to the other tents. There's just too many zombies, man. I'm going to get blasted. Yo, you hear me, man? Yell if you can hear me, dude. This other guy might... Like, he might have just ran away. Holy shit. AK rounds. That other guy might have ran away or something. There's so many zombies here. I wonder if I aggro them and lock them up. It's probably our best bet here. They'd have to be in these doors over here, though, because they can get through here. Okay, this is sketchy. I think this guy was in this apartment building. The alarm clock, yeah, you're right. Gaz gathers them all up. <clears throat> I 
Oh, we're going to do the risky play and go in here. This guy was in the apartment, so he's probably camping us right now. So long as we keep the line of sight to the apartments clear. Come on, we didn't IV sailing. Bad. Might find an M16 or an AK would be great actually. We got ammo for an AK. God damn it. Nothing in there, huh? IV start. That's the start. Now I just need a saline and we're good. Come on. Tetra. Drugs. Please don't shoot me, apartment man. Morphine. No saline. God darn it. Gosh darn it all. Gosh darn it. Yo, Rybangs. There's another dude that na is named Rybang. Or, there's like an alt account of yours. It was like Rylin or some shit. <laughs> Missed the tent, really? Which tent? I guess there's a whole other hospital, but there was no loot in this one hospital, so. Yeah, his name was Purple, too. Holy shit. Yeah, I'll check the towers. They wouldn't have medical. I don't think they'd have... They might have military, though. They might have, like, guns and shit. I'm just kind of sketched out, because I know there's someone around, but maybe that's the guys. It's a possibility that guy didn't hear me at all. And that he just kept going, but... These are very mod. These are modded, so sometimes they don't hold any. Damn, this is a cool spot. You can see everything out back here. Yeah, no loot in here. That set of three you didn't check the last tent. Set of three. Oh, that one. Damn, I need bandages too. Or do I have alcohol? good there's some shots downtown to distract everybody from this spot though blessing in disguise
Dude, I'm still chunked health. I don't even know. Health regen is definitely tied into blood. If you have low blood, then your health doesn't regen, huh? Like, at all. Nice. Another frag. A bunch of drop stuff. Mini 14 magazine. That's 5.56. Five, oh, well, that's a big magazine right there to find. I bet you we find a uh, M16 over here or something. I got a feeling. Freaking flare gun, yeah. What the freak is that about, man? Pouches? Nice. We needed that right now, too. Extra storage space, baby. AK scope. Oh, Carhartt jacket? I got one of these IRL. This color does not look good, though. I guess it's better than ruined, though. This is like sticking out like a sore thumb, but... Carhartt, baby. Oh, what I tell you? M16. Easy. You said the M M16 is a shit gun? Did you just say that? Someone's here. I think someone's here. That's, that's a zombie in there. It's a joke. You know what I think a joke is? We're in a serious military combat situation, right, man? There's no jokes. I got no blood, man. Time them out. <laughs> Silence them. So laggy in this town. I feel bad for people with the Walmart PCs. If my NASA computer is fr is uh, framey, oh boy. Huge. Another M16, another frag. The guy he got sent to Mars with Elon, huh? Oh, it was a black black jacket over there. Oh ho! So 
Boxy time. All right, we're looking up in the world. This is good. Grenades for days. All right, big come up. We got the Humvee. Now we need to find a jerry can. Let's go check this hospital, actually, just in case there is a saline in here. It didn't seem like any medical stuff was spawning in the other one, though. Top of the boxes by the doors. Yeah, I do mix that up quite often. I was like, yeah, I'm going to the hospital. They're like, what hospital? You're right. We got a play carrier, M16. And what should we do now? We could, we gotta get fuel for the Humvee. Need some more 556, five, we need a ranged rifle. Yeah, I get so used to Nomolsk being having these as uh, hospitals that I'm looting here for medical supplies. And it ain't working out so well. So we know there's some shooters in town. Definitely some good loot to be had here. I don't remember seeing a jerry can. We'll have to find a... Obviously either a jerry can or a... Pot, uh, a pot would be good.
I wonder how many pots it would take to fill up a Humvee. We ended up having a pretty good fight here yesterday, but I don't have any range. Let's go and check these houses over here. That's probably our best bet. To find a pot or a jerry can in a garage or something over here. And then we can fill up the Humvee and dip out of here if we want to. And go loot some other places. This city has really low frames. So the longer we stay here, the worse off it is. I wouldn't mind coming back here and fighting at the end if we get a rifle, but... Right now is not ideal. It's not ideal. Especially with the low blood, you know? You know? It's going on Firestorm. Good to see a mark. Yeah, let's check all of these houses here. Get a pot or a jerry can. Ivy sailing. Or a sailing. Maybe some food. Should be yellow blood anytime, any minute now. Wait, is it Friday today or Saturday? Friday. What the fuck? Oh, you went right through the door, huh? Pork, why are you up so late, huh? Or early, I should say. Early or late, I wonder. Well, Holly, 10, 11, 12. Well, I guess it just turned Saturday for you, huh? I'm talking about the cool people in the West. Anytime we ask time related stuff, it's we're not we're not even taking into account Europe and Australia. Oh, you're working on Saturday, huh? I'm sorry to hear that. Saturday work, huh? You don't work on the weekends, Holly? Nintendo doesn't want you working on the weekends? I want the double pay and I'll work for 12 to 16 hours. Woo! That double, uh, double time is nice.
Blood's back up to yellow. Moving on up in the world. little mini banshee look at this 45 ACP the banshee could take that bag but too bulky where are all the jerry cans huh oh plastic explosive don't mind if I do So we got to find a detonator for that bad boy. I think you can just add it to... Uh, I can't remember how to do the explosive... Improvised explosive. I think it's... Um, one of those protective containers. Duct tape. How do you make the, uh, the full setup? It's a yellow protective case. Explosive. Kitchen timer. Oh, you need an electrical kit. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, not killed anybody, but we're moving up in the world. We've got a bunch of military shit, M16. I'm just trying to find a jerry can or a pot so that we can fill up the Humvee and go for a cruise and go to loot up some shit. So we just need to find a container of some sort, whether it be a jerry can or whatever. Kind of hard to come by, but... The last thing I want to do is park the Humvee at the station with a goddamn water bottle. <laughs> Look at this idiot, filling up a Humvee with a water bottle. Moving up in the ages. It's nice to be able to see a little bit of color now. We got a little bit of color. Yeah, Nico, Maddox, Himmy. Welcome on in, everybody. Appreciate the new follows. Yeah, these houses usually don't have much, do they? Remember when color TV was this color? Back in the day? Maddox. Oh, there's a zombie on the roof over there.
I think we're just wasting our time in these houses, most likely. We'll check the garages in the sheds. It's a better idea. Wait a minute. We can fill a... B uh, doesn't make sense. You can't use a barrel to fill a Humvee, can you? Ah, oh, server reset. It looks like the server is a little bit more stable now, too. It's good. Alright. we got to find a container, folks. Okay. That's it. I'm going to run to the washroom. And then I'll be right back. The server's coming up in a second. We're going to get this Humvee going. We're going to go run people over on the main street. I don't know if we can trust anybody, you know. You think we can trust freshies in this game? Hmm. To trust or not to trust? We shall decide when the server comes back up.
Okay, let's join the server again. I was thinking about this earlier. How many, like, type 1 if you have an iPhone, and type 2 if you have a Samsung, Android. I need to know. Do you guys have iPhones or Androids? There's a lot of twos. There's a lot of twos in chat. You know what that means? Richie, I need you to write down all the twos. Okay? And all the people who type two, those are the first ones to go when the real apocalypse comes. See, this is a really easy way of... ...separating the trustworthy people with the iPhones from the other ones. So, please mods, make a list. Anybody who said two will be the first ones to go for the real apocalypse. Thank you. I'm just going to grab my water. I'm, we're joining the server. Okay. Let's get on in there, folks. We've got some chicken and rice, along with cucumbers, tomato, and onions, and hummus. I'm going to try to eat while we play, and I'm going to make a mess. It's going to be terrible. Just wanted to share that information with you guys. Joe Baca, thank you for the two months. Says nice. Appreciate that, man. Thanks for the two months, Joe Baca. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're ready for the weekend. What are you guys doing that's exciting on the weekend? Come on, fill me in. I need some ideas, huh? What are you guys doing? Drinking yourself into oblivion again? You guys want to see a cool screenshot? Look at this screenshot from yesterday. This is a very rare item, um, animal, actually. This animal is only found on Bitterroot. Look at this. Check it out. It's a unicorn wolf. Isn't that crazy? Unicorn wolf. It's a one of one. Amazing. I killed his ass. <laughs> I put him up on the wall as a trophy. These trophy hunters, man, they don't care about... I didn't even eat his meat. Stuck him up on a mantelpiece. Okay. What you think about that? Stretch. <clears throat> What's up, Eduardo? Boone, good to see you. May the force be with you. Wow. How Star Wars of you.
<laughs> surprising an iPhone user killed an animal. The ironic thing is it takes all these slaves, basically slave labor to make these phones. I'm so fucking virtuous. Oh yeah? How was that iPhone made? Hey, Gator, thanks for using the Prime, man. Thanks for using that here. We're just joining the server again, guys. Give me a, give me a second. We're almost in. Appreciate that, Gator. Where do you, uh, where do you live in New York, Bryce? Uh, you know what's hitting right now is these onions. I don't know why do I love onions so much. What do you guys think about onions? Those Android users, they don't like onions. New Jersey? Ah, same thing, right? New York, New Jersey. I love cooked onions, but not crunchy. Really? I just bit into a crunchy onion. It was the best thing I've ever had. I actually eat onions like apples, you know? Hate onions, love onion rings. What? It doesn't make any sense. South New Jersey is a little different state compared to the north, and I'm in the south. You know that New Jersey has like the highest per capita or highest concentration of black bears in the states? Pretty sure. There's just bears everywhere, apparently. New Jersey. Hey, Jim Tan and Laundry Brother. Okay. Before you get to watch the stream, Jim Tan Laundry. Jersey Shore. Remember, folks, Jim Tan Laundry. New Jersey. New Jersey. I want to go and visit Boston and New York and shit. I don't like big cities, but I think it'd be cool just to meet some people from Boston and New York. Apparently people from Boston are pretty fun to drink with. So that's, that's the word around town. They have no filter there. They don't give a fuck. That's what I heard. Everybody here is too uptight. Everybody's just on their phones here. They go to, you go to the bar and they're like, eh, they're looking at TikTok and shit. I want to meet some fucking depressed Boston, Bostonians. Is that even a word? I want to hear some down on, down on their luck. Bostonians that hate the government. Just drink with those people. <laughs> See, that's, a, that's what a good time is right there. None of this goddamn liberal shit. I need a down on your luck Bostonian. Ah, uh, happy hours banned in Massachusetts. Really? What is happy hour anyways? It's just like, 
an hour where they do discounted drinks and usually it coincides with the people getting off work, right? Happy hour is like what manufactures all the alcoholics. Something like that. Orion, thanks for the brand new sub, man. Appreciate that, dude. Make sure you join our Discord if you haven't. Mr. Orion. Dude, Aussies are fun to drink with. Yeah. Every Australian, Irish as, as well. Irish, Canadians, and Australians have a good time. The right kind of Canadians and the right kind of Aussies. But usually the Aussies that are here just party, so they, they love it. Same with the Irish. We got an M16 and a double barrel shoddy with one buckshot, but we got a Hummer. Humvee. I'm just trying to find a fuel container for the Humvee right now. Gray, what's up, dude? Appreciate the bits, man. And now I feel like ordering beer. Chad is, dude, does this to me every time. They start talking about beers and drinking. And You know? Hey, Gummy Bear. Appreciate you using your Prime here, man. I haven't had a Gummy Bear in forever. Ooh, another, v another battery. This one's got a bit more juice. Yeah, I appreciate that, Gummy. Ooh. Mac 11 subcompact machine pistol developed in the 1970s. Does this thing shoot 380? I've never used this, so in the sake of a test server, even though the shot is better, let's take it. I feel like a mumble rapper with this thing. Look at this. Got my gat. Rap. This thing's gangster. Mac 11, baby. Release my new album. We'll perform a drive-by. Dude, how sick would it be if I could drive the Hummer with that hanging out the window? <laughs> Blasting freshies. Brrr. Surprised they don't have a mod for shooting out of windows, you know? Matching pants, baby. With a little battery in there. Let's 
Gotta get rid of this backpack for something green. The moose is loose, huh? <clears throat> Canadians in Ontario talk different than Alberta, yeah. Yeah. The farthest east is Newfoundland. If you've ever heard a Newfie speak before, they're very unique. And the accent changes as you go west. Oh, there's a jerry can. Yes. There it is, folks. We found it. All right. Let's get to the Humvee. How many jerry cans to fill a Humvee? Damn, we're going to be heavy. I want to keep the plastic explosive though, huh? Mm. What can we get rid of? Don't really need the orc blade, do we? Drop the iPhone. The hell did he just say to me? Mark down uh, Dave. He needs extra monitoring. He's on strike two. He's on thin ice. Uh, yeah, Greybeard, our goal was to get a Humvee, so I found the parts, found the Humvee, drove the Humvee to a stash spot, now we got fuel for it, we just found a jerry can after looking for a while, so now we're going to the Humvee to fill it up, and then we're going to go on a mission to get a sniper for a long range, and hopefully some teammates, but I think most of the people, I'd say like 95% of the people on this server are Android users. So by, by default, I, I can't fraternize with them, you know. The superior iPhone user does not team well with an Android, you know. Us iPhone users are more, have more human emotion and intelligence and better looking. Whereas your average Android user is like bow-legged, pigeon-toed, very unathletic. So yeah, we're probably just going to be a lone wolf and drive around like an asshole with a hum Humvee until I blow up. That's about it. 
on some sort of sniper rifle. Yeah, the stacko will one shot a bear. It's a 300 Winchester. It's the one we got 1100 meter kill with. Uh, there's also the M91. The two 300 Winchester rifles are the most powerful. So the stacko is one of them. You can find them pretty, well, not pretty easy, but that's what we want to get is that big boy stacko. I spent the money I saved buying an edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, man, I just tell you guys the truth. You can decide whether or not. I know you guys get angry. You throw your little tantrums and... Listen, I told you. You guys are the first ones to go when the apocalypse hits. You're on the blacklist. Unless you buy an iPhone. And we all know the civil war is coming at the election. So I suggest you buy an iPhone before the election. All right. I give you survival tips for in-game and IRL. Don't be mad at me. Okay. <laughs> Vegan teacher from YouTube. Listen, man, I'm not Canadian. I'm half and half. The dumb side of me is the American half. The smart side is the Canadian. It's just the way it is. You know, part of me wants an Android. That's the American side. to be here. Did I cross this bridge? I don't think so. I think we parked it right over here and smashed it headlong into a tree, huh? Where's Patagonia for environmental flex? Yeah. Patagonia is expensive. I've been I've been wearing this Arcteryx shit. I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's so expensive it's disgusting. It's not even It's ridiculous. That's how you that's how you pronounce it, okay. They make some really good shit, but it's so expensive. Ho ho ho! Look at this Humvee, baby. Limited edition as well. Limited edition. What you gotta say about that, androids? Huh? Fucking androids. 
Robots, no feeling. Your fucking messages aren't even blue. What's wrong with you? If your messages aren't blue, I can't talk to you. You see that? Goddamn Android bots. Hmm? If your messages aren't blue, I can't talk to you. It's that's my my hit single, Lil Windex. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fuel it in here, huh? Lil Windex. All right, folks, here it is. <laughs> if I can get in. I don't think this server has the earplug mod, does it? Dude, what? <laughs> is it not letting me get in because of this tree? Come on, dude. I've got a freaking iPhone. Let me in here. Try from the passenger, maybe? Dude, it's so... What? There's got to be an angle, right? I can't get in anywhere. Dude, we have to find an axe now? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, right, we could push it. But I can't get in to put it in, doesn't it have to be in neutral or something? I don't think I can push it from here. Oops. Maybe that helps. Uh, uh. Fucking bots. Let me guess, I can't put the wheel back on either, huh? There we go. Uh, push from the front door? You can push from the front door? What do you mean, from here? Maybe from here, huh? Shit is bugging out, man. Remove the door, then you can enter from front. Okay. Let me try that. Move the door, then you can enter from here. Yeah, it's not a neutral, I don't think. It still lets you push regardless of if it's in gear or not, right? It's just this stupid tree is messing me up. God damn it. We're gonna have to get an axe now. This is the android's fault, I don't know how. Freaking Android users. Losers. Well, shit, I guess we're going to find an axe, huh? Well, shit. <laughs> Back to the grind. Oh, wait. We can make a bone hatchet. Or no, that's a... Is that a mod? Is the bone hatchet a mod or no? Yes or no? Someone tell me. 
We can go and kill that animal and get its bones, but that might be a mod, right? Is the bone hatchet a mod or no? Vanilla, I think? Someone do that research. If you don't mind. Tis a mid, yes. Mod? It's a mod? Okay. Okay. Let me try one more thing here. Let me take... The wheels off. Kinda dumb how we can't get in there, huh? Son of a gun. Is there anything else that we can do here? We're going, we're going for an axe. I'm not sure if I should carry that fuel on me because if there's a server crash or something, it might despawn it. So I'm going to carry it even though we're going to be heavy. Ah, chat strikes again. They said park it in a tree, it'll be safe. Unbelievable. How are we going to find an axe? I guess, yeah, no, I can't, I can't even, should be a slot for fuel in the Humvee, in the front. It's the only thing that I can get to is the front. I can't, I can't access the, anything else. I just don't trust the server because it's getting DDoS and shit. And if it just keeps resetting, it might disappear our loot. We did see an axe earlier, you're right. And I'm, what was it in the houses over here? Does anybody remember? I want to say it was in the houses that we found the jerry can at, right? I'm pretty sure there was an axe there. Let's go back to these houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to go and get an axe. We'll cut down that tree. Unfreaking believable. That's all right. Houses are right over here. No, you can't use a machete on the the orc blade. Does not work. No. See, on the other server I play on, they have a a mod. It's a bone hatchet. So 
really badass. You take 10 bones and you combine it with a long or a short stick and you can make this badass bone hatchet. But uh, it's apparently it's a mod, so. There was an axe in one of these houses over here. It should still be there, I hope. But sometimes in Daisy, there's a bush that's going through the vehicle and it's preventing me from opening anything. It's touchy. It's weird though. Usually when they're in the trees like that, you can still get in them, you know? That's okay. We got lots of time. No, I didn't even have bones anyway. I had bones before, but I made a knife, so it's irrelevant. But there was an animal over there. Sorry, I got the hiccups. <clears throat> There's an animal over there, so I figured we'd kill him. Uh, kill him and then make a bone hatchet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, maybe that's just because of the new update, actually. That makes sense. They changed how the trees work with the hitboxes and that's probably it. Because I don't remember ever having that much trouble getting in a vehicle. probably exactly what it is okay so I remember an axe being over here somewhere it was in a garage I don't think it was in a view um, in a home so let's just check these garages I'm thinking it's still gonna be there hopefully crowbar Are you kidding me? Oh, there's two doors to this. Okay, that makes sense. Fancy garage. One of them fancy garages. I wonder if Grandma's still locked up in here. I locked up a few of these. I'm pretty sure it was a garage over here. Crowbar. I just remember seeing the axe in a in a garage. I don't remember a shed, but I might be wrong. Should check these back sheds too, just in case. So we need a handheld hatchet. Or an axe. Shovel? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a garage. <clears throat> this doesn't... These don't work, obviously, right? Handsaw. Hacksaw and handsaw don't work. Yeah, their last ditch effort will go into town to a fire station, but I think there's one in these houses here somewhere. Hopefully. Oh, this will work though for sure, right? These cut down trees, right? Yeah, this will be even better than the, the other one too. Smaller. Perfect. 
It's gonna drop something for this though. The likelihood of Nasi using that explosive is low, but I, I, I want it. I want it. I'd love to blow up some Android users. You imagine that? Just four or five dumb Android users walking down the road and just they'll walk right into it. They'll be like, ooh, what is this? Piece of candy? Just watch them blow up. They all herd together because they're sheep. <laughs> That'd be good, huh? Fuck the codeine. Oh, morphine. There we go. That's it, I'm hacking the Discord. You don't have to hack the Discord, man, just join it. We've been converting uh, Android users since day one. Right, the hacksaw is for like, bases and stuff, huh? Reminds me, we gotta go build a base. I've decided we need to go and build a base. We need to try Inten Z. Or not, Intens. Sorry. Try Intens base building. There's really not that much left for us to do, is there? Time to, to dominate the base building scene, you know. We gotta grow the channel somehow. Listen, there's a lot of base builders. There's a lot of uh, base builders, you know. Hey. He's a filthy baser. I'm doing it for the money, okay? Times are tough. We need all the fucking primes we can get. Those basers, man, they'll appreciate it. They're getting hated on 24-7. We can pretend to like them for a week and profit. You don't want to use the basers for their money? I thought you'd be on board for that. Couple of base monkeys. Hey guys, I need you to go find me some fucking wires. Go find me some logs. Base building is lower than owning an iPhone. You remember when I said I wasn't going to ban you, Revo? You just put yourself on the blacklist. No one ever comes back from the blacklist. We could do we could be a debaser. So instead of building bases, we can just raid bases. What do you think? So we could virtue signal with everybody. We could just go out there and be like, we're fucking helping everybody out and just destroy everyone's base. See, debasing is a different thing. Right? Is debasing acceptable? I think that would be kind of fun. Find some dude's base and just totally blow it up. 
We got to take the bases away. Why would you even say that, Panda? Why would you even say that? You guys and your dirty thoughts. Keep your dirty thoughts to yourself. Unbelievable. I don't think you can handle a Ted's law flaw. Just kidding, just kidding. Bro. I like to joke around a lot. You know who you're fucking talking to? Dude, this thing is about to go ruined. Holy shit. Cannon fucking intends. I'll, I'll sleep and eat at the same time and play that, that server. I'll destroy it. Okay? It's not even a challenge. I just pretend it is. You can't handle it, bro. I've handled every server that's available. What color is your Bugatti, okay? Huh? What color is your Humvee? Jesus, this is messy. <clears throat> Classic Daisy, right? It's got to cut down a tree. I still can't get in the inventory here. I can definitely move it now, though. There we go. That'll be a good hatchet to have. Let's see if I can fuel it. Oh, this is this is the beginning of the mission. I just can't have my feet on the ground in this game anymore. You know what I'm saying? When you've achieved what we've achieved. I just can't stomach it anymore. I have to have my feet off the ground in some fashion. That's it. Technically, we're not a land peasant if our feet are elevated, so. See how that works? Even if it's for five seconds that we get shot in the head, at least I'm not a land peasant for that time. You know? Oh, he did. He put the right uh, ear earplug mod in. What a guy. He put the good one in. Yes. Nice. Very well done. Well, this thing sounds beast beastly, huh? Go for a little cruise, little booze cruise. It's the weekend, buddy. Fuck, it feels like I'm playing Reforger again. These Humphreys are pretty sweet, though.
All right. Well, let's get one more, Jerry. Let's get one more Jerry's worth. Hopefully, don't get sniped. Interesting to see how much this Jerry fills it. Oh man, is is this a functional fuel station? There better be functional fuel stations. Oh, there we go. It wasn't giving me the option. It's like, oh no, these are just placeholder. Wow, that did that fill it all the way up? Shit, that filled fast. This shouldn't take too long then. I'm used to fueling that heli. It's a bit of a process. It'd be sick if we could, um, you can salvage doors off of other Humvees, right? Like, not the drivable ones, but the, can you take doors off of the stationary Humvees? Yes? Okay, we should, that'll be our mission. Uh, fi find the doors and... Gotcha. Where are you from, Panda? Hmm? Long range rifle mission delayed. Never. You just gotta do one thing at a time here, okay? I'm only one man. One piece at a time. Was this thing full already? Whoa! Did it take a little fuel? <laughs> Have a little slurp of it. Weird that you can't just park next to Oh, I can, but I'm trying to be somewhat... Somewhat, uh... Tactical about this. Yeah, I just had to siphon. It's just like siph siphoning gas, right? You're gonna have to get a little gasoline in the mouth in the mouth there. It won't kill you. Okay, one more, one more. Yeah, if I pull it up beside it, can you just fuel it really quick or what? I don't know. I don't think it works that way, but maybe. Might have to be a mod for that. It'd be cool if there was an animation modded in where you physically take out the nozzle and place it in. Just little things in like that can really take this game to the next level. I'm hoping this is almost full in fuel then.
It's almost full. There's plenty of fuel in there, buddy. Uh, she's almost full. Alright, let's go for a cruise. So we need to find a rifle. <clears throat> I don't know if we should go to the spawn zone and try to pick someone up. Yeah, I'll try to get some doors for this thing. Is that a player right there? No. I'm pretty sure they nerfed the Humvee and made it slower, right? One of these last updates. Maybe it's only slower off-road. <laughs> Go up the mountain. how fast we can get this thing going. Oh shit. I'm hurting the engine by going that fast, huh? There's a wolf there.
I think we go to Tyler and maybe try to pick up a freshie and then go and uh, go on a mission. At least see if we can pick somebody up. If we get sniped, we get sniped, but... Could be kind of fun if we find teammates. I haven't had any goddamn teammates on this map yet, so... Oh, there's another fuel station there, too. We need, we need a minion. We need a minion to do the fueling and everything. Ah, uh, this way to the freshies. I wish there was a compass in this thing. Uh oh, there's water here. Benarut has some really good roads. Just like straight ahead, double wide. Just cruising, huh? Oh! Get in! <laughs> Fuck, I almost ran that guy over, he didn't even know. If I was paying attention, I could have run him over. That guy looks like he would have shot us, though. Hmm. Had a G36. Just dropped on Altaria. Yeah, the G36 is nice on that map. We need some a little bit more fresh than that guy. He had armbands on. You can't trust these guys. What, what's next? He's got a fucking android? Dead pig there. Seems pretty efficient on fuel. We gotta cross the map and barely any fuel. I'm not sure if I can actually get to Tyler this way. This is roadblocks, isn't there? I think we're good. How to lose your Humvee 101. Oh, there's a Humvee right there. Can I take the doors off of this? No. No, this one. Maybe that one over there, though. I took a wheel out of that one before. Oh, yeah, the spare. Remember the spare? I left the spare over there in that construction building. I actually wouldn't mind getting that. I'm scared to get out, though. Ready to get out. The spawn points, there's some spawn points up here. He's a bit slow on the hill on the hills, isn't it? I'm going too fast! Oh, shit! Oh, there's a fuel station here, too. Hey, Buzz, thanks a lot for the four months, man. Appreciate it, dude. I almost lost it there, I was going too fast. So there's spawns like right up here. I'd love to get a fresh, fresh, you know, fresh, right off the press. 
Put off the button press. There's some Humvees up here too. I wonder if we can salvage parts. These guys got any doors that I can take? Oh. Sketchy leaving this thing with the parts in it, but. Yo, can I take this door? I can't take this door off? Or is it only certain Humvees that I can? Some of you can. This one doesn't... Doesn't let me. No. They're all Humvees, but random doors do you can dig? Yeah. Oh! See you later, bitch. I'm really glad that he put this earplug mod in. another Humvee there. Yeah, this is a better one though. Because some servers have the, have a different one that's like, it only has one option. And what happens is it bugs out the HUD. For those that play without the HUD, so this is a good one. I, I can't remember if Maddie had the, the buggy one in first. I think I told him about it. I'm not, I can't remember. It might have been somebody else. Yeah, this is a good mod. Driving this thing without earplugs would be brutal. Where are all these freshies at, huh? I wonder if we can take the doors off that Humvee. Oh it has to be drivable to take the doors off? Really? No, I don't think so. Just seems like random ones you can't can and you can't. Are we Austin Powers right now? Take it easy, take it easy. You can drive out of this. This is where some freshie with a Glock comes up. He's like, <laughs> thanks for the Humvee, dude. Come on, baby. Humvee here.
Yet to see a freshie in this town. Crazy. Yeah, get out and check these doors and see if they come off. <laughs> Are the lights drain the battery, really? It's the same thing as the alleys. It's so stupid that it drains the battery, though, huh? It'd be cool if you had to use the wipers to drive in the rain. Is it me, or has the fuel not gone down at all? Time based. Hmm. So, how long the vehicle's been running? Yeah, that would make sense. So you have a base value for the vehicle running and then you have additional multipliers depending on how much you're pressing the gas or something. Just I'm surprised that it hasn't gone down much. I thought you were a alley person, dude. As long as my feet aren't touching the ground, then as long as I'm not a land peasant, I'm happy. This is the best vehicle on the server, so that's what we get, you know? <clears throat> as long as I'm not touching my feet on the ground, wrecking me boots. I'm addicted to alleys, though. I really think they should add one to the server. I'm going to message Maddie and be like, dude, just add a helicopter, man. Test it out at least. I don't think it would hurt to test it. But Maddie might be a land peasant, you know. He might not understand the air superiority complex. I've seen him driving around in vehicles, though, so I... Just one little bird is all you need. Oh, you should, Nate. I'm not kidding, dude. You should add, uh... If you can, you should add the... Shit, uh... What's that mod? What's the one Livonia uses? 
uh, it's that big one, fuck, can't remember what it's called, Steve, the guy makes it, uh, not Red Falcon, um, what is that, uh, mod called? Fuck, I don't know why I can't remember. The Daisy Expansion? Yeah, Expansion. I think they might use Falcon, Red Falcon helicopters, but I'm not sure how that works. It's Daisy Expansion. Yeah. I don't know, I, I've tried to add it to a server before in the mods and it was really touchy, kind of complicated, but... Dude, that'd be kind of cool if you added one just to test it out to see what it's like. I would definitely go play the PvE server if there was a chopper. <laughs> I would do base runs if I had to. I would I would secure people's base supplies in a chopper. Yeah. Dude, you should just add a chopper to the regular servers, man. One chopper to go and get. You could have one bunker. I just feel like you need more things to do on the map. But that's just me. I eat through content really fast. So for me, it's like, if I don't have multiple different things I can go and do, it's just hard to uh, continue to play the servers. Okay, well, we should probably think of where we need to go to get a rifle, huh? Uh, this is the main city. I definitely don't want to drive through here. I know there's a summer camp over here. Let's go and check the summer camp for a rifle. We gotta find a parking spot over here. I think there might be um, there might be a barn over here we can park it in. Some water up here though, I think. Sorry, buddy. <gasps> I don't think I can break through that. This is an armor of forger. I've been playing too much for forger, man. I just been plowing through shit. 
I'm pretty sure there's a camp at the bottom of the mountain over there. There's a little bridge over here if I remember correctly. I think I can drive right around though. Pretty sure. I thought that was going to flip us. It's a bad idea, by the way. I just want to state this before I get blasted in the head. There's always snipers on this hill. But there's a lot of tents that are a lot of uh, hunting loot down here this Humvee doesn't do very well on the terrain slow as shit Alright, 308 in a rifle. Rangefinder. I can lock the doors with that lockpick, huh? I don't know if I can lock the doors. I think I can lock the wheels on though. Not sure. I think I can lock the wheels on, right? No. Ah, wrench. Right, right, right. That would make more sense. That would make more sense. We gotta go and get ourselves a golf cart too. I wonder if we can take the Humvee to find a golf cart. I haven't driven the golf carts yet, but we should find somebody, get a golf cart, and have a golf cart minion follow us around in the Humvee. <laughs> Let's get two complete freshies to follow us around in a in a golf cart as our servants. Peasants in the golf cart. Now that would be good. That's it. Now, now that's an idea. 308. We just need a rifle and we're good. 300 Winchester, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you guys want to be golf cart peasants? A fuel caddy. <laughs> I'll just attach a, attach a rope to them and tow them along. Don't shoot my caddies. 
I ain't gonna be fueling this thing by myself. Now that's a good idea. I'm guessing we'd have to go to the golf course for that. Man, you can fit a lot of stuff in that sea chest, can't you? Alright, no rifles in here. You have the buff already, I know. The mouse cabin. Die hard. Old habits die hard, huh? I've got to be careful here. I don't fucking flip this thing or get it stuck. Uh, you walk past a gun on the floor, one close to the Humvee. Yeah, it's a, it was a Banshee. It's a 45 ACP little uh, submachine gun thing. This is a good road that'll take us to the spawn town on uh, in the south, like Oray and shit. In Milton, I think. Let's go down this road. Let's go on Snipe. Superman, good to see you. Did you change any Twitch settings? I can't chat on Twitch, says try again later. Uh, I'm not sure, man. No, no, no settings changed. Is this thing damaged now or what? Why is it? It won't drive. Uh oh. Is my glow plug damaged or something? The fuck's going on with this? I did see something ruined when I was looking at the vehicle. Dude, I wonder if this the glow plug is ruined. Weird bugs over okay. Just ignore it. Just keep going. I'm pretty sure I saw something ruined when I got in. This thing is slow as shit. This is full throttle. Let's have a look. all good should be good it doesn't cut out, cut out like that when it's out of fuel does it 
I know it's not out of fuel, but maybe the ga gas gauge is bugged or something. Definitely faster than walking. Yeah, my foot is uh, lifting off the throttle for some reason, but I'm full on to floor now. What the fuck? That's so weird. You see how my leg is lifting? That's what's causing it. This is me flooring it the whole time. I've been holding the shift and, and flooring it the whole time. My damn ADHD kicking in. Need me meds. Yo, this thing is terrible. I know they did uh, nerf it recently. Well, not recently, but I heard they nerfed it. I mean, this is not even a very steep hill, though. You're telling me a Humvee can't go up this with, without losing speed? Like, this is useless. A regular vehicle is twice as fast as this thing. You think it's the tires, huh? You think I got a flat tire? Yeah, but not this slow, dude. It'll run 30 kilometers an hour. You would be able to hear it if the tire was off. See, look at the throttle. Going up and down. This thing's bugged as shit. Shift to reverse. Some voodoo magic shit. What the fuck, man? Yeah, I don't know. Let's just slam this thing into a tree and be done with it, huh? God, hit the brakes. <laughs> that didn't feel very safe. Are we smoking? Is that just the exhaust?
Yeah, it's anytime it's going up a hill, it just gets kind of buggy. It's like pulsating and shit. Gotta go one of these different ways. Oh, fuck. Uh, this is gonna be dicey. I want to drive one of these bitches. You see that fucking... I'm about to trade this thing in for a goddamn Sarka. I'm not scared, you are. Dun 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 How many freshers can we run over in this spawn town? So this will lead us into Ore, which is a major spawn point. Man, I can't believe how quiet this playtest has been for us. Bitterroot is usually an all-out war, but... It's been so quiet, hasn't it? I mean, we killed a few people that first day, but other than that, it's been... Quiet as hell, hasn't it? Where the hell is everybody at? It almost sounds like I have a flat tire. Yo! Yo. Get in, brother! What the hell? You gonna get in? What up, man? I'm kinda going on the, the, the other way, you know? Yeah, I can drop you off. Get in. Get in! 
Jesus Christ. You have friends? Where are they at? Huh? Yeah, yeah they are at uh, Glasgow. Oh, okay. Or like one sec, one sec. You playing in Discord, huh? We still have a passenger. Technically. Ungrateful fuck. Not even a thank you, not a nothing. What's that, Jerry? Mm, it's quiet now. Real quiet. Oh, shit. What do you think, Gary? You don't give a fuck, do you? It's a good co pilot, though, quiet. He's just taking a nap. He's tired. What's that, Gary? <laughs> dude, we gotta go pick someone up with a dead dude in the front. <laughs> Get in! What's wrong with that guy? Oh, he's just, he's tired. How long is that body going to stay in there? <laughs> Wait till someone gets in and like cl cl climbs into Gary's body. Yo, do you want to ride? Brother. Yo, get in the truck. Come get in the truck. You want to ride? Yo, can we get in? I'll put the gun away. This is going to be a ride, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. I don't know if I can trust these guys. I don't like people with guns. I don't know. I, I don't trust multiple people with guns. It's too much of a risk. I can do one guy. Two with guns in a British accent or some shit. What's that, Gary? You want me to turn the heat up? Gary's looking a little cold. I'm <laughs> probably that guy's friend here. Gary, oh, this is steep. Are the brakes in this thing? Put your seatbelt on, Gary. I guess it's forbidden to play with friends on Discord now. You're damn right it is. I'm so sick of people being in Discord and Daisy. I'm just going to kill every single person that uh, that's on Discord. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. If, if you get into a Humvee and you don't say like, Oh, thanks, bro. Like, can you drive me to my buddies? It's different if that guy's normal. But the guy was just like, What the fuck? Let me consult with my Discord bros. Like, Yo, fuck this guy. What, I'm gonna drive him to his buddies so they can shoot me? Fuck no. 
At least say thank you. This guy doesn't even have basic manners. They're Discordians. Fuck them. That's what I think. What am I going to do? Drive them to his buddy so they can steal my Humvee? I'm looking for a genuine DayZ player, not some fucking chump in Discord that doesn't even know what basic manners. Ungrateful. Fuck them. That's what I say. Dude, if someone picks me up with a Humvee, I'd be like, fuck yeah, dude. This is awesome. He was just like, burr, burr. Fuck him. That's what I say. That's the thing. When you got the Humvee, you make the decisions. Isn't that right, Gary? Gary's just sleeping. Don't worry about him. What's that, Gary? You heard a voice? That was just Gary, man. I'll do a I'll do a loop. Apparently, this Humvee is like a Tesla because it's super efficient. Our fuel is basically never hasn't even really gone down. <laughs> yeah, that's what we'll ask him at the beginning. You got an iPhone or an Android? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, this is like no no country for old men. It's like flip a coin. Heads or tails. Well, I don't know what I stand to win or lose. Everything. Not right, Gary. Gary's body making fly noises? Gary! This... Close the damn door, Gary. There's too many flies in there. Even when he's dead, he's got no manners. God damn it. I think Gary's gonna disappear soon. We might have to cut him up. Get him out of here. Stinking the ride up. How'd he die? He died of a Discordian disease. The, dece the disease of Discordianism. Once it infects you, it destroys everything. It's great when they get launched. Not right, Gary. He's enjoying it. He's enjoying it.
Well, I mean, I'd probably want to be dead if I was riding while you're driving. You're talking to the best fucking pilot in Daisy. Okay? Premature, you couldn't even get the parts for a Humvee. You just die in the spawn zone. You can't even find food. You can't talk shit if you suck at the game. My driving is impeccable. I'm a fucking ace pilot. Okay? Just shut the hell up. Everybody hates, you know? They're land peasants. You guys are all land peasants. Don't hate on me. Air superiority, remember? We're going to Livonia tomorrow. Yo, fuck this guy and his goddamn Hummer. Yeah, well, I'd be hating too if I was sitting over there starving. Don't even know the key binds. How do I play this fucking game? Oh, never mind. It's easier for me to just sit behind my keyboard and talk shit. Listen, man. If I ever see you, you're gonna end up just like Gary. Trust me. <laughs> Fucking Gary. I wonder if we can remove Gary. He might uh, prevent the next victims from entering. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do, Kenny. I don't mind. Uh, I actually want to play with some people. I actually want to get teammates, but that guy was a loser, so we had to get rid of him. He was dead weight. I actually want to team up with some people, but... You know? It's the first thing... If they, if they have an Android phone, I, yeah, I can't do it. And if they're in Discord, I can't do it. This is two simple things. No Androids and no Discords. iPhone only. <laughs> They're using, yeah, 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 exactly. It's a double whammy. What do you guys think? Bad idea? Do you think this is going to damage the vehicle? Only one way to find out. You see that, Gary? Yeah, the fuel gauge has barely moved, Casper. Oh, Gary, you got sunburned, buddy. What happened to your fuck? Holy shit, Gary. Too much sun exposure there, pal. Holy shit. 
Old Gary got that sunburn, huh? You put the lotion on your skin or you also get fucked up again, Gary. Oh, there's someone in there having a fire. This is perfect. Someone having a fire over here. Yo, anybody home? Yo! What the fuck? There was the barking. Oh. Why are you barking? What the fuck? <laughs> oh shit! They're making weird no noise. Get out of there! Gary! Fucking Gary. There's way too many of them in there. Let's get a look at these psychopaths. Oh, they're freshies. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many of them. The other ones have guns, I think they're trying to... Oh fuck, there's like five dudes over there. I don't trust them. What do you think, Gary? Yeah, I agree. Good call. You wonder if they go on the road, huh? Think we could splatter them on the road? They'll probably go back in the house when I... This is a bad idea, man. We're gonna get sniped. Fucking Gary! We need to get a lot of speed. We need speed, folks. Fuck yo! If I do one more pass, they'll come on. Oh, there's dude with guns there. Gentlemen, you want to ride? We crunched that first guy, but it was so close. I'm not going back there, Gary. Fuck that. Holy shit. <laughs> no, if we take another pass, I'm going to get buckshot in the face. This is too much fun. We got to find freshies, man. Not, not guys with buckshot. Bad attitudes. Gary. to do that holy shit we're lucky you're all right gary there was a fresh in the wood in the tree <laughs> i probably scared the shit out of that dude there was literally a fresh in the trees <laughs> dude i wish i could have seen that from his perspective oh you're all right gary 
Let's see if this guy's not scared shitless. Yo! Brother! Get it or die, you fucking punk. I didn't I didn't really want to turn this into a serial killer run, but I can't help myself. This is turning into a real horror show, isn't it? Dude, I was doing about a buck twenty-eight. <clears throat> took that turn way too fast. I don't know how I survived. You all right, Gary? Oh, no. This thing's barely going. We need a new Humvee, Gary. Oh, you think I bugged it, huh? Maybe. You don't be seem to be doing very well. Just one second, Gary. <clears throat> Dude, this thing just is not like hills. Someone on the Discord got a clip of you driving by with Gary, really? <laughs> That's awesome. Up, Get in, brother. Where do you want to go? Up, brother. You want to ride? Uh, I'm I mean, sure, why not? Where you want to go, brother? This is my buddy Gary up here, <clears throat> up front. I don't know, man. Just take us somewhere. Okay. Yeah, it's loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Press N. N a couple times, it'll be quiet. His 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 lips are moving. In, is he in Discord? His lips are moving. Yo, you got friends? Where are your friends at? Yo, let's go pick up your buddies. Oh, no, what? You got friends? Where are they I at? I can't hear you over the car. Press N. Press N. There you go. Yeah. You got any buddies? You in Discord? No, oh, man. I'm solo. Oh, okay. I'm solo right now. I don't believe this guy. This guy's full of shit. He hasn't said anything about the dead dude in the front. What, uh, what happened to this dude? Uh, he's just taking a nap. He, he got sunburnt. He's, he's got no door. His name's Gary. Oh, that's my name. <laughs> you fucking shitting me? I swear to God. <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> uh, of course your name's Gary. I just came from this town. There's a dude over here somewhere. Okay.
So what do you got in mind? Uh, what kind of phone do you got? iPhone or Android? Uh, I got the iPhone. Oh, nice. How about you? Same, buddy. Same. I have the 13. Oh, okay. So you don't got any buddies, huh? Where are your buddies not. at? No, I'm on solo right now. Don't yep. have any. They're getting on though, right? Where are your friends at? Nah. No. I want to sit in the queue. Mm. Yeah, I waited for like an hour in the queue. Did you? Yes, sir. God damn. I respect yeah. it. Uh, should we shoot this guy? I kind of want I want to see if we can get the full vehicle full of dead people. He seems like a decent guy. <clears throat> He's not like he doesn't have the pizzazz I'm looking for. You know what I mean? I'm drinking coffee. It's fucking midnight. I feel like I'm cracked out. Like I need someone who's a, a little bit cooked. This guy's He's pissing me off with his moving lips. He's redheaded. He's probably lying. I'm looking for that crackhead vibe. You want to do me a favor? What's up, man? There's a couple Humvees there. I'm going to turn around. We need to find doors for this thing. Some of the Humvees you can uh, take parts off of. You know what I'm saying? You mind jumping out and taking a look? See if you can rip the doors off these things. <laughs> What did he say? Have a good night? What the fuck? This guy's cooked. I'm gonna run him over. Have a good night? What? what? Is he watching the stream or some shit? <laughs> he thinks I'm cooked. Dude, I'm like super normal, man. Right, Gary? This guy can't leave me Gary you missed me already no I said try to rip the doors off dude take the doors off the hell oh, the Humvees and put them on ours if you can yeah, right, right, right. no I'm not I'm, I'm not joking I'm not saying, so, you're, you're a zombie on you, no 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 he's on Gary who are you waving yeah, he's at he's on Gary one He's on Gary one. <laughs> this guy's so <laughs> sketch. <clears throat> Something ain't right. He's in Discord, boys. He, he knows too much. Oh, yo, hey guys. Yo. Hey, we got a guy stuck in a truck over here. Um, how do you get him out? Here, good. Jump in here. I'll fucking ram him. Come on. Alright, come ram him. I'm coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck is he doing over there? <laughs> um, oh, hang on. <laughs> okay, works. Um, okay. <laughs> oh my god, look at this guy. Alright, he's behind us, and he's stuck in a car. Yeah, I saw him. He's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we kill him or what? I to mean, help him. We can, I don't know. He, okay, he looks, let me just say this, he looks very suspicious. And I'll tell you why. Sitting on top of human meat. Holy shit, he's a cannibal. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we'll save him. Box. We'll save him. Yeah. He's on the right over there. Yeah, he was uh, my previous passenger, yeah, Gary. Look, look how suspicious. Dude, is he talking? Is that guy dead? Hey, how's it going? What, Gary? No, uh, Gary's sleeping. Sunburned. Sunburned. He's sunburned. <laughs> Fucking hell. You can't lay down, mate? Gotta crawl, yeah. Hey. The guy looks dead tired. Pretend pretend like you're gonna log out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good. 
<coughs> oh, yeah, that works. And then stand up. With the fake, the fake Jakey. Oh. You, know? you definitely... Oh. We're going to have to kill him, hey, man. Uh, Just kill him and then he can respawn. He's too cooked. Oh, oh, oh he's beating him. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. oh, my God. That was brutal. Hey, are you okay back there? Hello? Get in. Oh, oh, oh. You want to hop in? I mean, I'm... There's a dead guy in the front. I'm, I'm just rolling with it. Get in, brother. He's yeah, sure he has flies by him. No, he doesn't. His name's Gary. Oh, yeah. Leave him alone. He's sunburned and narcoleptic. Bro, you know what's funny? My name's Gary in real life. No lie. Dude, shut the fuck up. Everybody's yeah, telling me my name is way. Gary. Yeah, fuck yeah, you guys. Way. That's why whenever he rolled up saying my name was Gary, I thought I was getting, like, fucking hacked. Bro, there's no way <laughs> these are all Garys. For real. You gotta be kidding me, I was gonna dude. say my name's Matt. That's so fucked up. But now my name's Gary. Three Garys in a row? This is cooked. Three Garys. Wait, you've met, you've met another Gary? This is Gary in the front. Hey. He's sleeping. Wait, wait, he was Gary. Listen, hey. listen, listen. We gotta get doors for this <laughs> thing, okay? We need to get you guys gear and doors, okay? <clears throat> you know about right. the earplugs? Yeah, we need to get gear. Um, you press N. Yes, it'll help you a lot. So we need to get doors for this. Gary's pissed. He, yeah. yeah. Gary number yeah, he one. Looks, he looks like he got got shot through an open door. I'm guessing. On that side. No, he didn't get shot. He's just sleeping. He's all right. He's been here forever, dude. He's not going nowhere. He's my first passenger. <laughs> Gary. Well, I mean. Hey, what do you guys think about doing a fuel run, huh? You guys good at fueling? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Sure. Well, fuck yeah. I'm not pretty. Dude, See, this is, this is the guy we need right here. Let's see how fast we can get this bitch going, huh? I mean, that's never hurt anyone in the AC before. <laughs> no. Oh, we got a, we got a victim here. Yo, you want to ride? Yo, 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 yo. Oh, it's yo, yo. <laughs> is it you? Hey, you can kick uh, kick Gary out of the front seat, and you can get in. Can you do that? Can yeah, you grant that thought of someone out of a vehicle? You might have to cut him up or something. Does it let you get in? Oh, <laughs> we'll see you later, uh, Gary. Loser. What the? Gary had a chicken. <laughs> Gary had some fucking loot on him. <laughs> what? The? <laughs> He's been holding out, dude. If I didn't have earplugs, I'm right gonna now, get out I and murder each one of these guys. <laughs> I was losing. I was losing. Gary was holding out. Right, Fucking so Gary. I was telling him my name's Gary in real life. Is that weird? They're all oh, Garys. Gary. My name's Jimmy. Close enough. Yeah, Jimmy. Jimmy. Okay. Listen. What's your name to the left? We okay. need to go and get doors for this Humvee, okay? Is your name? Your name's not. Is your name Gary? It is. Yes. Which one's Barry? Is the driver's name Barry? What? Mine's with the Jeep. Machine gun man's name Barry? Oh, wait, no. Driver. Driver, what's your name? Oh, my name's Larry. Larry, that's a... Yeah. Are you guys all fucking with me right now? No, no, no. Oh. So you're Barry, the... Gary, Larry. <laughs> Harry, I'll just be Harry then. Fuck Harry? It. Harry? No way. Yeah. No, where? I'm not Harry. Where do you want to go? Which one's Gary? Which one's Gary though? Gary's Red the one you Red threw Red out. Red uh, yeah, he's my original passenger. He was yeah, Gary. Gary's legacy lives on. Maybe I'm Gary then. So I'm the new Gary. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, they big fucking boots to fill, though. I don't know if I could do it. Listen, we're gonna go into town. Oh, that guy looks like he's seen some shit. One of you guys need to grab the <laughs> jerry can and fill this bitch up. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I could do it. I could do it. I'm gonna get it. you guys where, geared up, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Yeah. Let's get Where's, where's the jerry can? In the back. Um, it's in the back. It's in the back. Um, the bottom of the storage. Let's go in the back. <clears throat> I 
What's UT? Everybody jump out. I'm gonna do i I'm gonna do a little oh, circle Gary. so I don't get killed here. I'll be right back. I'll keep your eyes out. Yo! Yo! You wanna ride? Yo! Can Yo. I have a lift, please? Get in, brother! Legend, legend. Listen, there's yeah, four other guys. Earlier. There's four the other one, guys. Okay. The, listen to me. The one with the guns, uh, listen to me. The listen to me, man. You have to. You have to kill some, um, one of these guys if um, you want a seat. There's four of them already. Okay. Yeah. You understand that? They're at. They're at the fuel station. One. You're gonna have to kill one if you want a seat, brother. Oh. <laughs> you think you can Sorry, do that? Oh, let me mute. Say that again, so I'll just turn the car down. <laughs> this is gonna get awkward. Hello there. Oh, there he is. Nice, dude. Throw the extras in here. Hey. Hey. There's a guy behind you. I don't Can know. I don't know there? who this fucking guy is. Okay. You guys are gonna have to settle it. What? Wait, I'm is that Gary? He said, I'm "Do I want to headbutt? Headbutt him! Headbutt him!" I'm, no, I'm oh, mango. Oh, oh, come on, man. Oh, oh, this is a good fight. They call you Mango because oh, yeah. that bald head there. <laughs> He's beating his ass. Oh, Mango's got a weapon. Oh, oh no, no. Get, in, get in, Gary. Hurry up, Gary. Oh, let's, 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 let's let's that oh. oh, get the fuck out of here, Mango. Drive, Barry. Fuck, you, okay. boy. fuck out of here. Fuck really. you, Mango. Bad Are you it's bleeding? Bad neighborhood. I'm bleeding. Okay, hold on. Let, this is a fucking dump. I'll stop over here so you can. This is a fucking dump. All bad news around here. Alright, 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 we're getting out. Alright, let's... Didn't have any brains, did he? I don't think... Mango out. Where is he? Oh, did he have a fucking BK on his shoulder? No, 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 he had a fucking farming <laughs> home. He's right behind us. He's there right he is, get the fuck out of here, Bolton. Hey, Mango, get, Mango, get the fuck out of here, Mango. Oh, so he's, he's, got got friend, friend, he's, got he's got a friend, he's got a friend. He's got a friend? Oh, he's got a friend! Oh, shit! Oh, oh, he's got a friend! Hey, wait, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm almost... I got you, Gary, Gary. Come back here, you dog. <laughs> I'm not getting shot because of you fucks. <laughs> Come back here, you dog. <laughs> this is good. Boys, get in. We're good. It's me. Get in, hurry. <laughs> hurry. <laughs> I can't trust these other guys. Put the gun. This is a circus, dude. These guys need to kill each other if they want to get in. This is survival of the fittest. <laughs> How long before these guys all kill me? They're gonna team up against me now. <laughs> uh. I can't. I'm, I'm losing. I'm losing power in my Colt. They're gonna be like, "Fuck this driver guy. He's a prick." I oh, know. I need the Jerry. I need the Jerry. I need the jerry can! Where's the jerry? Hello, hello. Get in! Get in! It is Mango's fault. Mango's fault! Fuck! Uh, Get in, boys! Musical chase! Come on! Get oh, in! Oh, you know, oh, oh, shit! Who are you? What's your name? What's that? Who the fuck are you? Uh, I'm just a fresh. You, you're cool though, right? Huh? Yo, let me grab you something. Hold on. Let me grab you something. Okay. Don't shoot me, please. Uh, I
kills a kill. Yo, where's the jerry can, bro? Where's the jerry can? It's in your back. It's in the back. Get in, get in, get in. Back your car. Barry, Barry, let us in, bro. Get in, get in. Let us in, Barry. I, I got rid of this other guy. So let me pull the fucking thing out. Rip him out. Um, you gotta rip him out. You gotta rip him out. Yeah, I tried, tried. What was it doing? Let's just get it safe, somewhere right. safe. Get away from Mango. The jerry can is in the trunk, okay? Who, okay, who do I have to run over? Which one? Uh, Baldy first. Baldy with the red, hat, red shirt. Okay, wh I what think, happened? Uh, jerry might have killed him. Okay. Jerry might have killed him. Yeah. Let's just get out of here, boys. Wait. These guys are cooked. Yeah, they this might have killed is each other. a bad neighborhood. <laughs> what a fucking dump. <laughs> yeah. What is the pa want passive yard? A little bit quiet there. Who's this fucking guy anyway? <laughs> He's some Austrian. <laughs> he was another Aussie. He's like, what's up, mate? I was like, fuck you. I said I was going to give him something. He's like, please don't shoot me. And I whipped out the M16. That's oh, what happened. I thought he was shooting at us. No, no, no. no. Uh, I saw him get out of the car and I saw the blocks on it. <laughs> this is how the first Barry died, man. It's the same thing. <laughs> that's why we sit in the back seat. The that's right. why yeah. we sit I would never seat. shoot you guys. So we know our place. We yeah. know our place, all right, Harry? Mm -hmm. We know our place. Wait, Good. wait. How did I end up in this Jeep? Wait. How did I meet you guys? You were just riding down the road? I have no idea, so dude. You were trying to get me out of the van. <laughs> yeah, you were stuck, stuck in the van. Oh, yeah, you were in the van. Yeah. Uh. Oh, the earplugs. Fucking thank God. Oh yeah, it's yeah, so loud. Boys, we gotta get you some gear, huh? We gotta get you some, yeah, gear. We gotta, we gotta get some gear. What do you think, Fortnite? Where do where do we go? I want to go to that fuck. Isn't there like a? Uh, you want to see the new city? Cult area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go to the new city. And the new and the new city. That's yeah. where I found this Let's thing. Let's go do that. Yeah. Oh, nice. We can do it all. Have you have you found a running golf cart? No, dude. We could go and get you guys a, a golf cart, though. Uh, uh, that'd be funny. I, th I think where it's at you, the golf where course. Where do you get them, golf course? I assume. I've never been. <clears throat> Alright, let's go through the golf golf course on the way. Let's it? do it. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, that's cool. I am, Fuck, uh, that'd be sick. How many can How many can you put in the golf cart? Oh, I don't know. No four. idea. Four, I'd, I think. Two, four. Two or I four. Want, yeah. I wonder if it could keep keep up with the car. That'd be sick, Cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was thinking about that earlier. Get a couple of guys in golf carts. Yeah. That'd be fun. Oh, dude. That'd be funny if you could, like, shoot out the windows. I mean, Fuck yeah. shoot out the sides. Entourage. That'd be sick. Cavalcade. Yeah, we need What's the cool? to need doors for this thing. We need two doors. That's why I got the last guy checking these Humvees here. But only some of the Humvees you can strip parts off of. Yeah. I had a spare tire before, but I had to use it, so I need a spare tire and, uh, and doors. Gotcha. All right, we'll try and fit this thing out on our way up to the golf Fuck course yeah. and the new town. You boys need food? There's yeah. a pig right there. Yeah, I'm going to chop that cut up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, it's killed. Oh, well, shit. Can you run over a pig? Oh, you can run over everything, dude. I've been running people over left and right. Animals. I, I ran over two cows. <laughs> wait, wait. Can you get shot through the windshield or no? Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. Isn't this bulletproof? This is bulletproof, isn't it? it bulletproof. No, no. It it feels badass, but it, it really isn't. Yeah. But I like to live in delusion. I've just been driving this thing like it is oh, bulletproof. Yeah. Drive it like it you is. Bulletproof. I like that. I like I've, that. I've never even driven one of these things ever since I. Uh, yeah, you can try. It's it's slow as shit going uphill. Like it's re this is floored, so <laughs> they're slow wow. as shit. Oh really? Yeah, they're fun though. They're badass. It's faster, they're faster than running though. Oh, okay. way better, way better. <clears throat> I always have experiences yeah. of driving on Chinaris where you like die. <laughs> oh yeah, fuck yeah. It's fun. You know, you know what I mean? The lag die. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. They, I it's hard to put into words. I almost flipped this already going about 130. Flew off the road. I don't know how I survived. Oh, no shit. Yeah. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. How, how, someone how geared are you on a scale of one to ultra geared? Me? I'm, I'm not even that geared. I just have an M16. <clears throat> I've been looking for a rifle. But, uh, gotcha. yeah, I've been, I found this Humvee yesterday at the end of the night. 
And then I got the parts today, found it, and fueled it up. And then, uh, yeah, I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to pick up some freshies. Well, how'd That's you keep it, though? Did you stash, stash it right on the edge yeah, of the sure. Well, no, yeah. I, I left it there where I found it, which was in the new city. And nobody, uh, nobody found it, I guess. Nobody picked it up. They're yeah, hard to find the parts. A lot of people you think everyone would be running straight there. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's the... It's weird, like... Yeah. The glow plugs are hard to find. <clears throat> Very true. I find a lot of spark plugs, but barely mm -hmm. any plugs. It's a big city up here we could stop at. There's like a ga uh, police station. Some other shit. We could do a little What's stop that? off here. Yeah, I need to eat something or I drink something at some point. How is that possible? Get a heat buff in here. You got a heat buff? Uh, yeah. In the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get in the uh, luxuries of being in a hum really? Humvee, yeah. Actually, we can't go this way. Never knew that. Oh, player, oh shit. Player with a gun. Uh, Fuck. He's, he's close. He's over this way. I'm, I wonder if I can run he's him over. You can't Whoa. even duck when you're in a car. Who the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo, get in, bro. I'm you friendly? Uh, I'm on Whisper. I'm on Whisper. All good, man. Oh! <gasps> no, I was just letting you know the guy with the gun, he's friendly, too. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, no. <clears throat> Alright, nice. have a good one. You too. I'm on Whisper. I'm just like... Oh, is this guy drunk? Have you been drinking? Yes, I have been drinking. Me? Oh, here we go. Oh. <laughs> fuck, here we Boys, go. Uh, fuck, this thing's terrible to drive. <laughs> Yo, fuck that friendly guy, dude. We gotta run everybody over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck He's that. friendly with a gun? I don't think so. <laughs> no, no. Oh, there's a, there's some armor for you right here. Oh. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm I can't okay. even get out. I can't even get out. Um. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna stay in Whisper. Where's friendly gold with a gun? Actually, I'm gonna go find out of this. Yeah, help him, help him. <laughs> I gotta help him, right? <laughs> this one mic. guy's on his open, his open mic. Why is the fuel gauge yellow now? Oh, fuck, is it up? <laughs> What's going on with the fuel gauge? <clears throat> What? <laughs> the gas is leaking. Fuck. Dude, this thing barely moves now. Holy shit. Oh, we're good. It's all good. <laughs> I just don't want to stay stationary here. I actually heard someone with a hot mic a minute ago to the left. Like, you know how like you can hit control and hold it down? Yeah. Like, he's, he's hot mic <laughs> I don't think he knows he is. <laughs> I think he has a gun now. Bro, this thing could song. barely move right now. It's scary. I wonder where our boy went. He's, he's over here, over here yeah. Yo, we gotta check the tires. I think we, I think I might have blown a tire or well, something. Have a flat. This oh, thing is so right. slow. I can check. Hold on, hold on. Oh wait, you know what? I do find tire repair kits a lot on this map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I find those a lot. I I know where a, I know where a spare is, actually. Oh good, good. It's kind of far away, oh, though. I think we gotta go and get yeah. it, man. This thing's fucked. Let's I, do it. I can barely yeah, move. let's do it. It'll be worth it, too, just, just in case, you know, we have to mm -hmm. Man, you must have a good memory to memorize where all the stuff is. Yeah. I, I forget where things are. <laughs> I stashed it there earlier. I hope it's there. Oh. We're missing the Aussie, but the I can't stop. Have, like, the normal server Uh, I think so. I'm not sure. Yeah, I can't stop okay. because I got Did a flat. It's as fast as I can go. Did you say your name is Larry or Jerry? 
I don't fucking I, I don't remember. Four nine. Okay. Yeah, I think my name was Larry. I think. Okay, I'm Gary in real life, but you can call me Matt or or Gary. I don't care. Gary's way better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I like Gary. That was the the first guy I shot. I have memories. I was driving around with that guy. He was dead in the front seat for like 30 minutes. Everybody was getting in there. Like, didn't, some guys didn't even say anything. He, he, was, he had flies on him. They're like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, it was good. Dude, there's a guy. I swear there's another guy riding around with a Humvee. No. Somewhere. No. I, I think, think I'm the, really is. I think I, I'm the only Humvee. One. Yeah. Wait, did you drive up to somebody earlier and say get in, get in, and then leave? Yes. Okay, that's that was. I've been bad. driving the whole map for like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> that was you then. Okay. Oh yeah, I was that screaming was, at people, I trying to run people two over. Humvees. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> two would be crazy. I think there's only one, but I'm not sure. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, no, you're. I think there's only one for sure. That's gonna be true. Dude, it's so funny if I hit him. <gasps> it just like stretches my circle because we're going so fast. It's so funny. Oh, you can't even look at the map, yeah. We got to go and find yeah, that spare, spare, guys. Spare and then we can get some gear. That'd be fun. Yeah, I can barely move. Like, this thing is. It's super slow now. I think we got to get that tire. I put it there earlier and the <laughs> server's gone down like five times, so hopefully it's still there. <clears throat> yeah, it has gone down. Mm hmm. Oh! <gasps> mm -hmm. The timing! The timing! No! No! We're fine. Everything's fine. It's going to come to a gradual, slow, slow halt. I wonder if the server went down or if I just DC'd. I've got to piss so bad right now. I, uh, I don't know if the server's down or not. <clears throat> I shouldn't have said anything. I jinxed it. <laughs> Gary one <Wendy, though>, think. <laughs> Dude, that was hilarious circumstances. I wanted them all to battle royale each other. Okay, wait a minute. Hopefully the server is... <sighs> I have no idea. I don't know if the server is down or if I got kicked or what. It's down? Okay. <clears throat> Misusing the Humvee, excuse me? Yeah, we were probably having too much fun with that Humvee, huh? The server had to tone it down a bit. I feel bad for leaving with that one Aussie dude, but... If we stayed there with those gunmen, I could barely... Like, I, I was flooring it everywhere and I was barely moving. I 
I think I was going like 70 or 80 down a hill. If we get lucky, it'll just come to a stop. I think the server's back up. Oh, you dead? Listen, believe. Believe, chat, believe. God damn it. Everybody believe. We're alive. God damn it, we're alive. <laughs> Yo, if my Humvee's ruined, I'm gonna go on a fucking warpath. The car looks ruined. <laughs> Dude, the car looks smashed to bits. I'm pretty sure I saw all the tires were flat. Yo, at least we're alive, huh? Oh, how am I alive? Everybody else is dead. Oh my god. I'm the chosen one. Yo. <laughs> Are they both dead? Gary. Wait. What the fuck? Oh, these are still good. Yo. Can I drive this with two fucked up tires? Oh my god. I'm gonna try. Oh, the engine's fucked. <laughs> He's gonna fucking log back in and be alive, isn't he? Oh, this doesn't feel good, folks. Take his helmet. <laughs> oh no, I can barely move this thing. Would it make sense to put tires on a different side or something? Or just scrap this thing? If it's KO'd though. I guess it's fucked, huh? Can I drive with three wheels? Dude, this thing's not moving anyways. It's toast. God damn it. Man. We need uh, Nate to spawn a new fucking Umvee. <laughs> Or at least despawn this so we can go find another. Oh damn. Suppressed pistol. Don't mind if I do. Take one of those. Some fresh is gonna come up and punch me in the side of the head. Bro, is this everybody that went in my Humvee died <laughs> except me? What the fuck? There's magic in the air. Oh, we got a spare tire. It's magic. It's magic. Hey. Oh, it's magic. It's fucking magic. We got new everything, baby. It's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. The fucking fuel's full of everything. Yes. You guys are awesome. <laughs> the star goes on, baby. Dude, we were so lucky to find that brand new Humvee right on top of our other Humvee. Yes. It's pretty fair, though, I'd say. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Dude, we gotta go. <laughs> oh my 
god, dude, I gotta go to the washroom so bad right now. Uh, hold up, hold up. I gotta run to the fucking washroom, dude. Hold up. Fuck yeah. Hey, you guys just hang out with the the boys, okay? I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. And normally I wouldn't, uh, you know, it's cool that they reset it for us. It's just a test server. We're having fun. We, we definitely work to get the Humvee. I don't mind getting a little refresh. Uh, that was nice of him to do that so we can still have some fun. Fuck it. Usually don't want to take any kind of extra help, but in that scenario, I'll take it, you know. It's too bad our buddy is uh, is dead. Is he dead, or is he knocked out? Like if he if he respawns in, he might still be alive, right? Or is he dead? Is he dead dead? I don't see flies on him. That's dead. <laughs> That's dead. Okay. I don't know how I survived that. Oh yeah, he's dead as fuck. That sucks. Yo, Gary, was that you, man? Oh, that's sad, dude. That was so unfortunate, but it was awesome. Thanks for uh, tagging along. Hey, Texas, thank you for gifting us up out to Gary. I uh, appreciate all the support tonight, everyone. <clears throat> if I missed any alerts while I was driving, I apologize. 
It's too chaotic. And thanks for all the new follows, everyone. Mista, Chris, Water, Coco, Sweet, Ten Keys, welcome on in. Ethium, Wheat, everybody else. It's been a good one. It's been a fun night. I'm glad that we could get that Humvee. We gotta get some fresh uh, meat. You know what I'm saying? I kind of want to get some some freshies and get uh, get them looted somehow. We got three Garys in a row. Like, what are the chances that I say his name's Gary, and then everybody else is Gary? It's crazy. Can't make this shit up. Yeah, my name's Gary. Hilarious. All right, let's put some stuff in here. I don't think I want to leave any guns in the back. Oh, a tire iron. We can lock these tires on now, I think. Right? We can lock the wheels on. Oh, this is sick. I've never done that. It's a really nice find, actually. <laughs> Gary and his mustache. I should wear his mustache to, to make him live on, you know. There we go. We got the horrid Hulk Hogan mustache. In memory of Gary. Long live Gary. And this other Australian punk. Don't kill me, bro. <laughs> Don't kill me, bro. Need the desert helmet? I think this one's just as good, if not better, right? I think they're the same. <clears throat> I kind of like the green helmet better. I need to put the supplies in here. Yeah, they're just visually different.
All right, time to find a replacement Gary. How long until they get sunburnt? Oh, he's already sunburnt. I'm afraid this server's gonna crash again. Oh yeah, the green one's a lot better just because of camel wise. That other one might be good on like Takistan or something. It's a desert camel. Sick with the dead bodies. Is that a thing? Yeah, I didn't think that was a thing. Well, there's some dead dudes over there. I believe this is like Milton. Like Jasper or Milton or some shit. Oh, no. Lover's Quarrel. Yo, get in! Do you want to ride? Get in, brother. You don't got a mic? We can't drive mi no mic guys around. Who's this fucking guy? I don't trust you, you shifty. Shifty individual. No mic, no fucking drive. That's for sure. Not personal. He's, ta Yo. he's talking now. Yo. Yo, can you hear me? <laughs> Yo, can you hear me? <laughs> let me in, homie. Yo, let me in. Discordian for sure. All of a sudden he's talking and shit. Don't trust him. No, no, no. I know his. I know his kind. His type. Can't be trusted. What he was saying at the beginning was, oh my god, there's a Humvee here, to his buddies. Just couldn't hear him. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for, like, that Aussie guy. What was that Aussie guy's name, Larry? We need another Larry or Gary or... Uh... Jimmy. Bunch of dead zombies here. Someone's around.
I don't know if you guys remember that really funny clip we had from this uh, map on the first playtest. Do you guys remember that? It was me and this other dude, and we had a vehicle. And he got out, we were on a hill, and he's like, I'm gonna try to stop the car, bro. And he was like, duh, 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 duh. And, he gave, <laughs> and then I ended up getting stuck, and I fell out, and I, I ran myself over. Jesus Christ, man. That was one of the funniest moments of Daisy for me. It was, we had a vehicle on Bitteru a long time ago. That was so much fun. I'm doing a terrible job of explaining it, but trust me, if you saw that clip, you'd laugh. I was sliding and the guy's like, I'm gonna get out and stop. And he got in front and he was like, do, 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 do. and his character started twitching and he went right underneath the car with the funniest sound. I just started laughing so hard. <clears throat> I think I cried. And then I couldn't get the car to stop rolling. And I tried to dip out of it and it ran me over, it killed me. There's a couple of spawn points down here. Why is the passengers giving us the silent treatment? <clears throat> I don't know, they're a little tired. <clears throat> Dead tired even. Oh, it'd be cool if it gets dark. The freshies here are attracted to the light like a moth to the flame. We should probably go and find a golf cart. I think I still have that. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a spark plug, but I'm pretty sure they only need a battery, right? We should definitely try to find a golf cart. I'm assuming it would be at the golf course. <clears throat> I've never seen one. Oh, you need a truck battery for those. Shit. I've seen a bunch of truck batteries, actually. They haven't been that hard to find. How about some dark and darker? Yeah, who knows? 
I've already been on for like seven hours though. I'd like to get I'd like to get some freshies geared up or something. This Humvee's a little bit too much fun right now. I'm enjoying this a little bit too much. Watching all these freshies die is very heartwarming. Yeah, Dark and Darker is definitely a... I really like that game, but... It's kind of one of those games you either like or you don't. When I initially saw that game, I wasn't interested, but after I played it, it was a lot of fun, so... I always tell people to give it a shot, but... Yeah, some people won't, uh... Just aren't gonna like it. It just seems like there's no freshies over here by Tyler. I never see anybody over here. I do see him over there by RA, but server pop might be dying now at this time. It's the weekend though, so maybe. Maybe there's still a decent uh, amount of people in. Seventy six? Seventy six out of eighty? All right, that's good. Oh, shit. That was close. Humvee parts, um, let's just say we don't need them anymore. Let's just say we found them all. We got everything. <laughs> we have everything. Spare tire, everything you could ask for. Full fuel. Oh, there's, there's a dude up here. Oh, you're right. I did use it. That guy pull out a pistol? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got a freaking revolver, too. No, oh, this isn't good. Prick! Whoa! Yo, shit, Gary got a tan, look. This is a spawn spot over here. Gary's been out in the sun again. I don't know, what do you think? Should we get rid of him? It's kind of a bad look. The freshies aren't liking the dead people look. I don't want uh, the memory of Gary to die, but he's kind of cramping our style a little bit. They catch bullets. Oh, you want to use them as a goddamn shield, huh? Meat shield. Yeah, wait till uh, wait till Nate experiments with the chopper in the server, guys. 
you wait. We've got to, uh, we've got to bribe Nate into adding a chopper just for the test, just to see what it would be like. I'm re I'm literally re rebooting PVE to add it right now. What did you add? Did you add the expansion or did you just add like the Red Falcon? Dude, I'm going to go and find Ellie if you add it. <laughs> no. Dude, what did you, which one did you just add one? Yeah, expansion's huge. It's very complicated to add too. What? I'm going to have to go to the base server to find a heli right now? Nate, just add it to this server. <laughs> Dude, I will, go, I will go on a base server. It would be kind of fun to do like... Um, fly people around. Dude, it's a helicopter. Don't tempt me. Maybe we should leave that for tomorrow. The UA, uh, UH-1H and the Apache. So I guess those ones take the heli battery, the igniter plug, and the hydraulic hoses, huh? Dude, I'm so I want to fly one. American heli, sweet. Can you say where you added them to? Like where where are you gonna have them spawning? Two to three spawning on the map. Dude, that's going to be badass. I don't even care if it's PV. Mill bases in a ranch. Okay. Dude, I'm, go I'm going to play PVE tomorrow. I don't care. I'll go and find a heli right now. I don't care if it's PVE. That's even better. Dude, I'm going to go and get a PV. I'm going to go and get a helicopter right now. Nate, you tell me when you get the helicopter ready. I will give this Humvee to somebody else. And I'll go and get an Apache helicopter. <laughs> I'm addicted. Oh, so there is PvP just... Oh, okay. That's even better. So PVE in the normal spots and then the mill zones are PVP. Oh, I got you. Yeah, that's good. Imagine spawning into this. What in the fuck? Get in. You want to ride?
I love that animation. Get it. Get it, brother. Oh. How you doing? Hey, man. <laughs> this is wild, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Gary and Barry beside you. You got any friends there, pal? You need to be dropped off somewhere. Hey guys, huh? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know where I'm going. You have any friends? No, man. I'm just a, a leaf in the wind. Okay. I like that. This guy's a little weird. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot to ask. What kind of phone do you got? iPhone or Android? IPhone or Android? Oh, uh, an iPhone, I think. He doesn't even know. This fucking guy. Did I pass? You passed the test. Just looking for one or two more occupants. We gotta get you some gear. This guy's real quiet, huh? <laughs> This guy's real quiet. Where's everybody at, huh? I don't know. So what, what do you like to get into? Me? Oh, I don't know. A little bit of this. I got to do a little, a little tussle up in... Uh Old Juno. Okay. What happened there? Yeah. Oh, I got blasted. I killed two. I killed two people. And then I accidentally hit the tab button. And, uh, oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Yeah, some dude shot me in the head. It was a new moment. Well, there's some gear in the back if you want it. Nothing special, right, just a helmet. Down. You interested? Can I access, can I access it from the... Okay. No, I think we gotta get out. Let's have a look, let's have a look. See, there's a helmet back there for you. Yeah, you just gotta open the back. There you go. You take whatever you like. Just like a, a mice and men moment? No. No, no. Oh, it's nice. It's nice stuff. Nice, huh? Yeah. High quality. You're welcome. Hey, You're welcome. yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's boogie. Oh, hey, gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, man. The bang bus is full, baby. Achievement unlocked. You're lame, bro. <laughs> A little bit. I'm having fun, all right? That guy was not bringing anything to the table, folks. I need, I need someone different. I need more. He seemed like an all right guy, okay? He didn't even know what kind of phone he had. He definitely had, yeah, the mic quality was low. He had an Android, but he knew iPhones were superior, so he said, I don't know, iPhone? I, it, just, it wasn't, we weren't meshing. I'd rather have him as a dead occupant.
I'm a ser- I'm play- I'm role playing a serial killer in a fucking Humvee. The guy gets inside, there's two dead bodies. You know what I mean? Like, don't get in a fucking Humvee with a stranger. That has two dead bodies in his car. Right? Not my fault. Right? Gary? The guy knew what it was going to happen. He just, you know. I geared him up. Look at him. He's got more gear than he had before. See, if I could do that. See, I need to... I need, <laughs> if I could just drag some bodies behind this thing. What, I can't roleplay as a serial killer in a Humvee after I did all this work? Huh? You guys come onto the server, get yourselves a Humvee, okay? And then you can be all friendly and shit. If I want to fill it up with dead bodies, then I'm going to fill it up with dead bodies. I just... You guys are like the type, you know, the most popular Daisy videos on YouTube are of this kind of shit. Not that I'm going to put this on YouTube, but it's like... You know what I mean? That's all anyone wants to watch anyways. Is betrayals and weird shit, you know? Feeding people human meat. <laughs> Self-admitted content for me. What do you think, bro? I got fucking bills to pay, bro. That's it. I need someone with personality, all right? He wasn't cutting it. End of story. I'm having fun. Yeah, I might be sick and twisted, but... I'm nice most of the time. I'm like the nicest guy. I really am. I help so many people, I get betrayed all the time. It's my turn to fuck around, you know? It's my turn to make people bleed. This is a good role play right here. I'm LARPing. Oh yeah, Nate, did you try the heli? Shit. I just crashed. <laughs> yeah, they're not easy to fly. Do you know how to fly them, Nate? <laughs> yeah, you just gotta put auto hover on. Oh, you've flown them before. Dude, I will go and I'll find a heli on that PVE server. I will. How many people are on the PVE server anyways? It's probably pretty low. Like five, okay. Uh. Okay, we'll. Li I won't kill the next guy we pick up. Okay, we're gonna make him our project. He's gotta have a little bit of personality, right? Our next guy has to have a little. I don't even care what kind of phone he has. This guy could be androided out of his mind playing in Discord, okay? We're gonna... We're gonna make it happen. Maybe. I had to be on to find one of those. <laughs> You let you probably scared the shit out of them. This poor PVEers. Like, holy shit. 
There's a helicopter above me. Bro, there's no helicopters in this server. That guy's got a crazy ghost story to tell everyone. <laughs> Dude, this fucking maniac flew down. Who's an alien. I wonder if they're spawning in with all the parts or if we'd have to find the parts. I might leave. If you leave it on, I'll, uh, I'll go in tomorrow and we'll try to fill the server up with people. I wonder if the PvE was full at some point today. Must have been, right? Maybe. Partial parts, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, if you leave it, if you leave that in for tomorrow, I'll definitely play it. Uh, I'll definitely play it. I'll run around in an empty server to find a heli. I don't care. Right, yeah, it's the same as the other server I play with helis. It's a good way to do it. Uh, yes, I checked out the new city a few times. Do I play golf? Not really. I'm good at the driving range. I'm just not consistent. I can hit a ball far, but no, as far as anything else, I'm okay putting. But I'm just very inconsistent. I'd love to. Golf is one of those things you gotta practice a lot. It's a lot harder than it looks. I haven't been golfing in years. I'd love to go to a driving range. Love going there and just whacking balls. These guys are really pissing me off. Get the hell out. You're crapping my style. Whoa! We're under attack. I don't know where I'm getting shot from. These motherfuckers. Was that up in the trees? Shit. Yeah, I don't think I can get back in that thing. They're gonna shoot me. Bastards. No! No! Where was this guy? No! My Humvee! You bastard! Don't do it! You bastard, no! Don't kill me! Jesus Christ, man! Fuck! Okay, okay. I didn't know where that guy was, man. It's okay, though. That was fun. I would pass on the Humvee to someone else. We probably deserve to die eventually anyways. Dude, what are the chances that I stop in that random town? And there's some dude with a gun. I had no idea where he was shooting us from, too. Made some good moves. I thought for a second he was going to try to torture us. I was like, oh, maybe this will be good, but... To be honest, we were driving around for a long time in that thing. That was so much fun. 
All right, well, it's either we go and get a helicopter in PvE or we end it. I don't know. What do you think? Could try to get a chopper, maybe. I wonder how long it's going to take. We could build up our character to get a chopper, maybe. Let's just go to the PvE server. That was really fun, though. I'm not mad. I think I was about to give that damn thing away anyways. I was driving around in circles. So hopefully that guy takes care of it. Let's see if we can find this a heli. Fuck it. Speed run to a heli. That's the goal. It's a new goal. We're getting airborne again. Let me see if I can find this server here. Dude, it must have been hilarious from that guy's perspective. The Humvee stops in the road, and, they, and I'm just pulling out dead bodies. <laughs> oh, I wish I could have seen that from his perspective. That's great. Buddy probably see us, sees us, and we're just ripping bodies out of the uh, out of the Humvee. Awesome. Love it. Red Falcon flight systems. So I don't know if we've flown this exact mod before. Maybe the Red Falcons are the ones that are in the um, that tester, the heli test server. Let's see. Bitterroot playtest, bases, PvE, bases, PvP zone. So we said they're at heli or they're at uh, military bases, and uh, what did he say? Military bases in a cult location, I think. Something like that. All right. Let's see what we can do. Military is in ranch in a ranch. Okay. I might cheat and use the the map on this run. Military's in a ranch. Whoa, what is this? Military's in a ranch? Denton Ranch? Denton Ranch has got to be it, right? That's got to be it. Right there. Militaries as well. So maybe Fort Howell? Fort Howell or Haven Settlement or Bishop? There's a couple of ranches that are all up this way. Camp Horizon, McLean Ranch. Ooh, that would be a good spot for one. March Air Force Base would be the obvious place to put one, I think. Okay, so we're down here. We just got to go up. Okay, let's just make this fast. Speed run. Bare minimum. Shouldn't have to worry about any people shooting us, right? Till we get to the PvE zones or PvP. I don't even think I need a gun. Oh, that's awesome, Paul. Yeah, man, it's a good community. That's what I was wondering. If, is there more cars on this server? How many car spawns are uh, in Tyler? You think I could just find a vehicle? Where are the freaking vehicles? 
Tyler? Okay, you think it's worth going down there? A vehicle would make this way easier. You think it's not worth it, worth it to go to Tyler? There are none in the cell. Okay. All right, well, we got to go on foot then. Listen, we were in the Humvee, okay? We got to go airborne. If we can get a chopper, I'll hide it for tomorrow. Dude, think of the places you can go with a chopper on this map. Dude, think of the elevation. It's going to be nuts. Livoni ain't got shit on these mountains. Dude, we could fly this thing to the top of a mountain. Flying over Bitterroot is going to be badass. I'm telling you. I think I can speed run this pretty fast. Yeah, Chad, I've been talking about a winner a version of Bitterroot, actually. I would love to see that. A snowy version? Cold version of Bitterroot? Alright, we're booking it. We tried winter on Playtest 3, did you? I wasn't, uh, when was that? That must have been when I was in Europe, maybe? I can't even remember. It wasn't public, wow. Wow, VIPs only, huh? Instantly rejected it, really. Fair weather players, huh? Oh, really? I, d I didn't think it would be that much work. I was like, under the impression that you just put a mod on and it covers all the land mass with snow. <laughs> I guess not. Ah, the green shows up underneath it. Hmm. I wonder if there's ways you can just disable it. Right, right, right. I guess the thing is, if, I, if even if we find a chopper, though, we might not have all the parts. It's a... Um, <clears throat> we got to figure out where the parts are spawning, too. I've got a ZR2, George. A 2021 ZR2. Yo, Ozzy, thank you for gifting us up to Nate. Appreciate that, man. Industrial. Makes sense. <clears throat> yeah, those 1794 edition tundras are really nice. They've got this crazy looking leather interior and those are really nice. I'm pretty sure they have like custom badges and yeah it's really nice I don't I said I rarely see those around when I'm in a server and the heli flies over the leg is mental yeah but sometimes it's not that it's not that bad <clears throat> the server that I play on on Livonia is is pretty well optimized I don't really ever feel too many issues with the helis actually surprisingly they feel better than vehicles like they feel better than being on land sometimes i don't know that humvee doesn't really feel that solid gotta go and blend up my shake 
That blender's so loud though, every time I do it at like 1 or 2 a.m. I feel bad. Twenty sixteen model, buying it from the Midwest, so I'm driving a rental five hundred miles to get it. Holy shit. Nineteen thousand? Seems pretty cheap. Yeah, it'll be an, it'll be a nice truck. Toyotas are really usually pretty dependable. Tundras, Tacomas. Yeah, to Toyotas you get a good life, life out of them. How far do you think I could run? I wonder if I can make it all the way to Rolling Hills without starving. I'm pretty close, so I'm going to be double dying. Might have to go to Darby. Uh, let's get on the road. <clears throat> Hit up the wind farms? Okay. The wind farms are... I only know of wind farms over here. Industrial park? Wind farm. There was one right there. Because we wanted to check this here, McLean Ranch. The thing is, too, we probably want to find parts as well. Let's just go to Rolling Hills. That's salt damage on the lower body. Yeah, that's the problem with cars from colder climates, right? The thing is if your if your vehicle has a little bit of a few dings here and there it's almost better that way because mine is so it's only got 25,000 kilometers. So that's uh how many how many miles is 25,000 kilometers? But uh it's pretty mint. It doesn't have anything any issues with it body-wise. It's really really good shape. It's probably one of the lowest kilometers. ZR2 of that uh, year in Canada, probably. So with mine, I'm like, <clears throat> taking it off road, it feels bad almost. It's like, shit. I mean, I've, I've driven it pretty hard, but I see some guys that get a brand new tr truck and they take it off road and just trash it in like half a year. Yeah, 15,000 miles. That's a 2021. So they keep calling me from the dealership. They're like, yeah, you, you need to take it in for a maintenance. I'm like, yeah, it only has 25,000 kilometers. They're like, what? So I don't drive it. I don't I haven't really put too many kilometers on it. Oh, yeah, it's nice to have a one owner vehicle. Makes a big difference when you don't have like seven people. One guy might be good, the next guy doesn't do shit. I wonder how much a 1794 Tundra would be full price when they were new. It's like an $80,000 truck, isn't it? 70, 80,000? Pretty expensive.
I'm trying to improve my PvP skills. There's a server you'd recommend. Uh, what? You play on PC or controller or console, Paul? Hundred thousand? Holy shit! Yeah, that's nuts. How much is are the TRXs? This one TRX guy parks beside my truck every time I go to the gym. Got this fucking orange TRX. It's pretty wild. I think those are like a hundred grand too, or more. Dude, I could use a beer right now. No, I'm just um, I'm trying to work this out in my head. I'm trying to figure out where the best places would be. Do you ever buy a camper? You mean a rooftop tent? I haven't got a rooftop tent yet. Processing plant. Nate, are you you're in the west or the east? I've actually got to. Um, I've got a. I've got a. Leveling kit for the front, and I've got a, a body lift for my truck, and then I'm going to get 35s, I think. So I've got to install that right away. I've got to figure out where to get that done. Oh, you're in Michigan. Yeah, Jesus. You're a night walker like me, huh? Real night walker. I guess this is a weekend, too. I hate being up before noon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you and me both. Easter, yeah, that's right. That's right. Double dying. Should be able to find food and water in this next town. Nah, I should be alright. Is there a well in Rolling Hills? <clears throat> I'll figure it out. We're speed running here, alright? We're gonna make it. We'll be fine. I think there is a well here too. I think it's in front of the uh, in front of the apartments, and I think there might be one inside of a pub. I think. Speed run challenge. Making actual faucets for the sinks. Oh, that's awesome. How do you even make something like that? What program do you use for that? We're on a different server right now, Dirty. We're trying to get a helicopter. Because <laughs> I was thinking in my head, I was like, you know what Bitterroot needs is a helicopter. 
And then uh, Nate is the guy who does like all the mods and stuff for the server. And he's like, yeah, man, I'll fucking, we'll try something on the PVE. So we're on a PVE server. And you can PVP at the, the military zones. But we're trying to find a chopper. Because he just added the choppers. So there's like an Apache helicopter. I really want to fly over Bitterroot. It's going to be badass. I'm just going to speed run to try to find one right now. Because I've been on it for eight hours. But the Humvee, we ended up dying. Some prick shot us. Uh, I was tearing dead bodies out of the Humvee and he shot us. So we kind of deserved it though. Kind of deserved it. I was getting, I wasn't getting bored of the Humvee, but driving around in a vehicle for like three hours in Daisy is. Kind of a pain. And a civilian. Okay, yeah, the civilian UH should be the um, little bird, I think. I believe. Have a look in the industrial sheds, too. Maybe we can get some heli parts. Oh, okay. Oh, you have a black chopper? Does it tell you what kind of skins they have? Or are they just randomly generated? Let's, um, chicken over there. Nice, a little bit of food. There should be a well out here. Unless they changed it. Yeah, it's right there. In front of this apartment. We should probably kill that bird. Dinosaur bird! Get back here. These chickens get no respect for being dinosaurs back in the day, you know? Hey, what's wrong with the Russian helicopters, bro? Listen, Nate, I know you got to talk to Maddie. I'll send him a message. We got to get him to put the helicopters in the main servers. It has to be done. Maybe even just one, you know? We got to get him to do it, man. It has to be done. We need it, Nate. We need it. Bitterroot is such a beautiful map. It needs to be seen from above. Yeah, I'll play the damn... I'll play any server for as Ali. I haven't talked to him since it released. I'll build a damn base with a helicopter in the server. I, we've been talking about building bases. There's a lot of closeted basers in this uh, in this chat. They pretend like they don't like basing, but they they've all got like three thousand hours basing. They're just closeted basers, so it's gonna be good for the channel, you know. I hate basing, but if we have a helicopter to get supplies, that could be kind of fun. We got a group of people that would gather supplies and we just ferry everything. We had to find the bat, most badass base uh, location. I like building a base. Well, you're going to join the server. We're going to build the greatest base this map has ever seen. Nice 308. Uh, Heaven's Settlement lately? Uh, where is that? 
Is it you mean Face Gate or Heaven's Settlement? I don't even know where that is. Oh, at Haven? This one? Yeah, I've been there before, yeah. I haven't been there recently. No. I consider you a masturbator, yeah. That's right. What in the fuck is this? Sleepy sheep? I'm taking it. Turn your hut on. What is this? A grenade? Unpin. What does this do? Uh, call me. Ki Wait, I don't. Know. I'm I'm scared of this thing. I don't want to die. Hey, call me K. Thanks a lot for the brand new sub. Unconnade. Okay. I'm going to use it. I appreciate that. Sleepy sheep? What the fuck? I thought it was like a plushy toy, like Tarko. Now you want to see what it does? This won't kill me, right? Nate, if this kills me, I'm going to be pissed. Does this fuck me up or what? What happens if I do this? Cover your ears. What the fuck? Hopefully this didn't hurt me too bad. Holy shit. I That was a turn down volume. I put my earplugs in. Whoa. Okay, we're good, we're good. God damn. Dude, that is sweet. I want to use... Oh, yeah, I guess you can't really use it on the server. Holy shit. That was cool. Sleepy sheep. Oh, no. Bugged out scope. God damn. <clears throat> I did not draw any zombies. Oh, I think they would have. Oh, there's a battery. No, I'm not sure. If I go unconscious, then they maybe the zombies lost their aggro. You think they would aggro to the noise, but Okay, what uh what spot can we get to next? Let's just run to Riggins. We'll have to find food again. Yeah, so this is like a PvE bitter root with pvp zones and base building
We're just trying to find a helicopter right now. I really want to show you guys Bitterroot from above. This will be the first chance to see it from above. Yeah, Paul, if you're still here, you can try V++. So search up the server V++. Is this a deathmatch server? And that'll help you get better at the game. Just play a bunch of V++ and you'll get a lot of experience fighting other players. And then use that experience in the game. Helps a lot. Oh, right, right. We're debasing, actually. So how does that work on a PvE server? I, I don't even know if you could do that on a PvE server, can you? You can't, like, take someone's base down. For target practice, I run a shooting range. I'm a beautiful potato shooting range. <laughs> Interesting. I'll have to check it out. Practice on the small, yeah. Yeah, that's that was fun too. That's a uh, deathmatch. Wild cattle pe what? Oh, 100 kilometer wide castle PvP zone. I thought you said wide cattle for some reason. Thousand meter, thousand meter shooting range. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Have to check it out. Yeah, you could do BR too, but the thing is, you're not gonna get near the reps that you'll get with uh, <clears throat> B plus. B plus plus is the best. Just go and invest like 20, 30 hours in B plus plus. It's gonna make you way better. The thing about the uh, BRs you're going to be if you're brand new it's not going to really help you that much but like it's, it's good to have that pressure too and to be thinking I would say go from like V++ to the BR it'll make you better but yeah it's based on um, the Bitterroot Mountains in Montana yeah Ruby Ridge is on the map <coughs> all those are on the map Ruby Ridge. I'm sure there's a lot of names that you would. You play this game with uh, the meta quest 3 I'm not sure what that means Nicholas oh VR yeah I don't know can you VR in, in Daisy I don't think so maybe I don't know anything about VR. I watched somebody play Ghost of Tabor. I just don't. VR does nothing for me. I don't know why. The most uh, equipped gaming that I'll do is a racing simulator. Steering wheel and shifter and stuff and pedals, but I don't know. There's something about VR that I just does nothing for me. The thing is, if if I want to shoot guns in game, I just want to have fun in my game. And then if I want to shoot guns really bad, I'll do it in real life. You know, there's like a they're trying to bridge the gap between gaming and real life. It's kind of like uh, at that point, I would just rather go and do do it with my guns. You know, I don't know.
Yeah, yeah, the flight sims get pretty intense. I've never done it myself, but... I don't know, it's just VRs, it's not for me, I guess. There we go. Yo, this is your item, isn't it? Nate's cheddar dip? Nate's cheddar cheese dip? Have you been eating these all day, Nate? The Fritos cheese dip, dude. I, there's the salsa you get. What is that salsa? And then there's a the cheesy salsa that you can get, the cupasa or whatever. So good. Love that shit. A dead body? No. These churches have guns sometimes. Good stuff. I found the uh, AKs in here. And Mo motion sickness is a real problem with that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm really prone. Uh, well, not really prone, but I'm prone to that motion sickness shit. I can definitely see that from uh, VR. I don't know if I'd get it from VR if I was like controlling it. I don't know. We have to see, but... Uh, what should we look at here? There's a police station. Three frogs has a good stuff. It's PvP, though. I think we're better off just running down to Hawkins and then check the Air Force base I guess I need to get a gun there might be a gun in here up here though should be it almost seems like reduced zombies I don't know if I'm just tripping oh yeah vertigo is bad too I've never had that but I've seen people like fall over so randomly. <laughs> Gotta keep our eyes peeled for a vehicle. Circles probably indicate the PvP zones. Since this is the PvE server. So those are like the places that you can kill each other basically. Shoddy, nice. Why do I have a feeling the nights are really dark on the server? Ah! 
I don't know if I want to go any further without a gun. I guess we had the shoddy, but... I need some more food. I'm actually not too worried about PvP on this server if there's only like five people. You know? I don't expect to find too many crazy PvPers in a PvE server with like five people. So we might be alright. piece of food yeah there's a big bag on that one The hell is this? Oh, it's a cold lock. I thought it was a heliport. Scope CR, nice. It's a good find. Okay, that should be good for guns. Just need a little bit of food and we can basically just bolt it to that uh, to the what's it we call it? Military base. Probably don't have room for it. Well, let, let's at least check a few spots on our way. Like I said, even if we find a chopper, we might not have the parts for it, so... It'd be kind of cool to start off tomorrow just... Flying around and 
Taking people on rides and shit. That'd be kind of fun. Alright, worst comes to worst, we just use the chicken that we have. Next restart, okay. Yeah, at least if we get up there in the area, that'll be good enough for tonight. March Air Force Base, McLean Ranch, Black Rock Barracks, Bishop Air Station, freaking this place. I need to get a vehicle. Hawkins. Man, I don't know if I can make it all the way to that next spot without food. I wonder if we can find a vehicle at the speedway. Yeah, I'm not going to backtrack though. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Let's get moving. We're going to go to Hawkins. And then March Air Force Base. It's a massive hangar area. Maybe there's a chopper there or this ranch. Come on, baby. It would be so crazy if what? No, no, no. We already got a freebie today. No more freebies. I just hope I don't run into a bear over here or something. How insane would that be? No, I love a good heli hunt. Is this zone under gas still? Should be, right? If not, I need to fix it. Dude. We could get really rich if there's no gas there, huh? Be kind of cool if you spawned a heli. If you added that area as a potential heli spawn like they do on Livonia. So that if you got an NBC suit, there would be a good chance of you getting one. That'd be kind of cool. Make people want to get the suit. I mean, if I was building a base, I would, I would love to have a helicopter. Right? You know how convenient that would be? What are you guys talking about? A seizure? Yeah, I've seen someone have a seizure before. We were kids playing uh, football on the field. This older guy was around and he fucking started laying on the ground like twitching. I had no idea. I had no idea what was happening. My friend's brother, actually, best friend's brother used to have them. Scary, man. You have to, like, grab them, make sure they're not swallowing their own tongue and shit. 
Sometimes they like swallow their tongue or bite their tongue off or some shit. Gets pretty crazy. I'm pretty sure that's what happens. You just want to open their mouth and put like a spoon on their mouth or, so, or on their tongue. Some industrial here. See if we can get some Ellie parts. The radiator in there. I don't have a spark plug yet, do I? Not yet. Ooh. Nice jacket. If we can find a vehicle, that'd be immense. If we get a vehicle, we definitely find a Humvee. Or, excuse me, uh, helicopter. Damn, I like this jacket. So the best thing you can do is just let it, let it happen, huh? Man, I don't want to have a fire and eat this chicken. and Hawkins, I think we can make it. Making record pace. Gotta blend up my smoothie too. It's a pretty place. Dude, look at the elevation. I'm telling you, it's going to be nuts with the helicopter. I want to fly up to the top of that mountain and then fly directly down. I wonder if these choppers are going to be any different. Yeah, there's gas there. So there is gas at that zone. Next time on Dragon Ball Z.
No, not a drivable one, no. Unfortunately not. What's going on, Trip? Gaming on Cherno, oh nice. How was it? How's the old Cherno feeling, huh? Two point five times the amount of cars, wow. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I just need a spark plug and then we'll have all the all the parts that we need. Can we get a pole if you die in the next 40 minutes? Well, I probably won't die in the next 40 minutes. Dodge pickups? Now that would be sick. I want a dodge pickup. Took my OCMM. What is that? Some even come camel wrapped. Oh, baby. Let me guess. You and Maddie have a fucking dodge. Huh? These guys just like inject themselves into the server, huh? I like this dip and I got like my dodge. I drive a Chevy Sonic. Oh, it's a Chevy Sonic. Okay. Why the Dodge pickups? Are you pure of heart? Kind of fate skate. Dodge Dakota. <laughs> yeah, I've driven all types of um, pickup trucks. I can say they're all pretty good usually. All the Fords, all the Dodges I drove for work, they're all pretty, they're similar. They're not that different. Ice's Dodge I drove was a 2500 turbo diesel. It was like a gunmetal gray. That's what I'm saying. You got to add these damn things. Add them. Add the choppers to the PvP. Going to be another level, I'm telling you. You wait. You wait. You Oh, you don't have the admin to those? Oh, I see. No, we're we're going to we're going to plead our case. What the fuck is that? Is that a bicycle wheel? Are there bicycles in this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Dude, get me a bike. Get me a bike, mate. No, it's not a unicycle, was it? Tut that damn chicken up? No way. This is a speed run. Listen, I'm gonna fucking eat Nate's cheddar chip dip the whole way to a alley. 
Oh. Oh. Heli battery. Diamond plate calcium battery. Yes. So there's three parts that are needed for the heli, right? Fuck your chicken. Wow, this thing's big. First ever heli part found ever. I'm scared to put away this because I think I'm going to find a vehicle. God damn, this thing's huge. Oh, most cars should be? Yeah, you put that in quotations to cover your ass, huh? I guess, yeah, you can never know if they were fucked with. But. I see what you did there. There are no vehicles. You said there's 2.5 more. There's no vehicles, man. Where are all the vehicles, man? All right, I got to blend up my smoothie here. Hold on. You guys cover me for a sec, all right? Look at this fucking aviation battery. I'll be right back. I'll leave, uh, I'll leave the mic on so you can hear how loud it is, huh? Okay. Blueberries. This is good. Blueberries are good. Four AM. Two AM for me. Holy shit, it's a vehicle. There's a vehicle right here. Hey, it's got all the parts. Yes. Nate, did you spawn this in? <laughs> you fucking... No, okay. Nice.
Okay, now. Mm, there's got to be a well in Hawkins, right? Yeah, there's a well right there. You think I could I drive it to? Um, you know I can drive it to the well. These things need water right away, right? Or is it different on the server? Are they good? Is it full of water? <clears throat> it's full? Okay. Fuck okay, it, let's go. Okay, we're going to go to March Air Force Base over here. It's going to make our lives so much easier. I don't know how off-road capable this thing is. We're about to find out. No, I'm eating, uh, I'm having some food, but it's not chips. This thing's actually better than the Humvee. How is this thing better than the Humvee? Holy shit! I see a heli crash. Hopefully no one kills us, man. I'm going to be pissed if someone shoots us. The asshole. Dude, the turning radius on this thing is amazing. Yeah, I know the PvP. Yeah, yeah. Get wrecked. Ooh, NBC. Large tent. I wonder if I could fly a heli into a tent. Matching pants. Fashion matters. Oh, baby. My favorite weapon. Launcher time. Oh, you have a winter Livonia server? Really? You got helicopters on that bitch? What is that sword? Oh, that means it's a PvP zone. I see. Oh, you do? You will leave the open fire zone in what? You entered the uh, March Air Force Base. Open fire zone. Okay. Don't shoot me. I'm here to test. 
So my theory is maybe this is one of the spots that they would spawn them. This would make sense. Oh! Dude, there's a chopper right here! Yes! It's a freaking Huey, look at this thing. Yes! Oh, damn, this thing's sick. Dude, tell me, tell me it's got some parts. Please don't shoot me. Oh no, it needs a freaking plug. Son of a bitch. No. Damn, this thing is sick. Holy shit. Wait, so how many spawn? Do we have to go and look for another one? Should I take the parts out of this? Damn, this thing needs a lot of parts. Four different parts. Hydraulic hoses, wiring harness, and a battery, and a plug. Uh, take the car's plug. I don't think it works. It needs an aviation plug, it says. I think it's different. Got to be different, right? I'm going to double check, but... Yeah, no, that's different. God damn it. No, it's all good, man. Okay, well, how many did you... Do you know how many roughly spawn, Nate? So I gotta go and check the other military bases. Three right now, though. Okay. Well, that's okay. We know there's one here. So, let's go to McLean Ranch. He said something about ranches, so... Let's go check that. It should be no big deal with this, uh... Car. Damn, that one heli looks badass, though. It's a big boy. This is where I did 200 kilometers an hour with the Humvee. Pretty sure I did 200. Uh, what's up, Sergeant? Good to have you, man. On flat ground? Wow. You know what? Sometimes it's fun just to rip around in easy mode, you know? Especially at the end of like eight hour run. This is kind of relaxing actually. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I think the radiator took some damage. Hopefully this thing's not toast. <laughs> That's what I get for relaxing. You busted the radiator? For fuck's sake. God damn it. That's Nate's fault. We'd be flying in the air, god damn it, Nate. Uh, let's go to the well. We'll f replace the fucking radiator. Yada, yada, yada.
Wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, let's put this in here. How many radiators do I need? How many cooking pots to fill this radiator? Two? Mm, yeah, we could just use a jerry can. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm a glad, yeah, I'm definitely glad. You think I'm good with one fill up? Probably good, huh? Good enough. This thing won't shift. We don't want defectors from YouTube. Texas, we want more people on YouTube. We've got enough on Twitch. <clears throat> There's a ranch up here that might have us spawn. Oh no! Jesus, the grass sucked me in. That was scary. Saved it. I'm trying to eat and look at the map all at the same time. I think this is the ranch that... I've never been to the, this ranch. Oh, this is a military? This is kind of a cool spot, I've never been here. This is new, isn't it? 
Oh, yeah. You can see a heli being here. Bet you there's some pretty... Oh, this might be PvP? I think this is a PvP zone. There might be heli parts here, though. I'm not seeing a heli. Was a bear over there? He's stuck. You fucking, you want a tango bear? Oh, he's stuck up top. Look at him. If this guy glitches off the top, we're fucked. Oh! Nice blaze. Nerve-wracking! SK M4 Freaking M4, buddy! MP7 magazine How long before this thing? He's gonna come flying off that roof, guaranteed. <laughs> Freaking out of here, buddy. There's another LA! This is it! Thank God we came down here. Oh, surely we're gonna have enough parks now, right? Surely. Surely? No! They're all. D no! No! They all have a missing plug, man. We're gonna have to find that plug. Son of a gun. That plug is going to be our nightmare. Well, someone's been here, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really holding us back, huh? He just doesn't want us to fly. It has to be somewhere around the chopper. No, it's going to be industrial loot. Just don't think I have the time to look for it tonight. I might try to go and find the other chopper. I think he said two to three, but I hope I'm not looking for a chopper that's not there. You know what I mean? I just want to test these choppers. See what they're about. There's another AK in here. What kind of... Oh. There's at least one more. It's probably just going to have the same parts, though. We're going to have to find one of those plugs. I'm seeing a pattern here. If it's the same chopper, we're just going to need to find the plug.
It's not bad actually. Okay. Oh, we'll go and find another one then. Oh, <gasps> shit! Fuck! <laughs> shit, fuck. Shit, fuck! Not now, boy. Dude, if you face to the wall, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh god, that doesn't look safe. I don't trust that door! I'm stuck. What the fuck is going on with my character? One sec, I got a tab out. I'm bugging. to see we gotta find the last heli spawn so I'm, I have no idea where it would be it had to be at a military I guess uh, black rock barracks we could check that I really hope it's not at the top there. Maybe this is what Fort Hall is probably that or Glasgow Air Force Base. Or maybe the other Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, this place is pretty cool. I've never been here. Some really good loot here. Yeah, I got a sneaking suspicion. <clears throat> this other one would be missing a plug as well. We just got to find it. Did I grab the parts out of that other one? No. I don't want to take all the... You need fuel soon? No, we got a full tank. I don't want to take all the other parts out anyways. Unnecessarily. I don't want to take the chopper parts out of every one, you know? So where should we go and check now? Black Rock Barracks. There was a... Dixie Town... Dixie Town. Uh, where else was there? Denton Ranch. Let's go and check that.
Yeah, so I don't know if you can control it, Nate, but if you can make it so that they're not interacted with within 24 hours, they respawn. Right? Because people take them and they hide them in these crazy spots. They, like, cut down trees and shit. I'll save it, Helly, for you. I'll try, yeah. 45 days right now, yeah. 24 hours seems to be... A good balance, but Holy crash over there. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. The Helicrash might have parts. I'm not sure if that's how it works with this mod, but... The other one was a good... Helicrashes were a good spot to find the parts. MP5 drum magazine, sweet. Yeah, on the other server with that I play on, they have that in the heli crash loot. Well, part should be, well, ideally all of them. A mixture of all of them, right? The server that I play on has a mixture of all of them. So there's three parts. This mod takes four, I guess. But the ability to have, to find any heli part at the heli crashes is probably the best, right? <clears throat> Because if you're looking for a specific part and they only spawn batteries. They're either random or only heli crash. Uh, wh what do you mean?
Uh, the 60, are you talking about the 50 round magazine? It's for the for an MP5. I think it said 50 round MP5 magazine. I might be wrong. It looked like a 50 or 60 round magazine for either an AR or MP5. I'm pretty sure it said MP5. MP5 SD maybe? Right, yeah, I see what you mean. Is this Denton Ranch? He said something about a civilian heli. This might make sense as like a civilian heli. There it is. Yeah, there's another one here. There's a truck there too. I got a feeling that this is the same chopper. It's probably just gonna have the same parts missing. This one's different though. This one's sick. It looks different. Come on, baby. What do you got? What do you got? Oh, it's got everything. Yes. We did it. Mission success. All right, now let's crash this thing immediately and then go to bed. Hey, dude, this thing has got storage. Let's crash this thing immediately and then I'm going to sleep. I've never flown this one, so I don't know how it's going to react. Hopefully it's similar to the ones that I'm used to. Open the back. Oh, damn, that's sick. Wait, I hope this thing has, it spawns in with fuel. It should. I think. I hope. Yeah, this thing is really sick, actually. Oh yeah, it's full of everything. Oh, this thing needs oil as well. This thing needs oil as well. I'm scared. Jesus Christ, this thing is loud as fuck. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I turn this fucking thing off? Um... Okay, these are the controls. Toggle HUD? Landing lights, Z, left shift, okay, flight recovery. Wait, does this thing not have... What does flight recovery mean? This thing doesn't have uh, auto hover? I think that means... Yeah, numpad oh, X, okay. Or wait, hold on, what did it say?
Plus on the numpad for, okay. I wish it would tell you though. You know what I mean? Surely it has to say something about that. Like auto hover on. Yeah, well, Nate, when you have the, the power to spawn them in, eh? you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, this thing's fast. Oh, she's touchy. Bro, this thing's wild. Yeah, this is a... Yo, this thing's a whole new ball game. It's fucking crazy. It's so touchy. It's going to take some getting used to. Turn down the sensitivity in the settings, you think? It's weird that it doesn't have an auto hover. So if I press plus, it just stops me dead. Hmm. Yeah, this one's going to be a lot harder to fly for people. The, um, the helis that I was, that we use in the expansion mod are a lot better than this, I think. This one's cool, as it's cool to have helis, but this one's crazy. I'll get used to it. It's gonna take a little bit of time. This motherfucker is loud, son. Where are you on the map? No idea right now, actually. I'm just trying to get a grip of things. I'm flying on freaking Bitterroot right now. Wait, should we try the other chopper? You think it'd be any different? We could try the other chopper here. I don't know if I can land this thing though. Landing this might be an issue. Let's see if we can land this thing. Okay, so every time you press the plus button, it just saves you, basically, if you're fucking something up. Yeah, coming to hot plus. No, it's vi these things are very touchy, that's all. You gotta learn how to...
Let's go and have a look at this other one. Fucking choppers on Bitterroot. This is nuts. Dude, this thing is like... Dude, it's so loud. Choppers are loud in real life, though. But, my God. That thing is seriously loud. Yeah, third person. I like to restrict myself to first person, though. The little birds are definitely on uh, the expansion mod are a little bit easier, uh, not easier, but they feel a little bit, um, I don't know, I don't know about these ones. Let me try this other one though. I don't know if it's any different. Does it just look, is it just a different skin? Maybe it's just a different skin, huh? This one doesn't even have doors. plug oh this one needs fuel um needs fuel as well okay let's move this bitch fly to the speedway all right, I'll try. Change the sensitivity? I don't think so. Toggle HUD B. What would... What would that be? Oh, you can turn the HUD right off in these. That's sick. Toggle Heli Command. What does that mean? Toggle heli command. I'm going to leave the parts in that one. Listen, Nate's got to get his wings, okay? Nate's a psychopath. Nate will fucking take me down in God mode. <laughs> it's easy to crash these, man. The other choppers uh, from the um, expansion water are... They feel better. They're easier, too. 
there's a certain... You definitely gotta learn how to fly these things, man. I'm just gonna take it nice and easy. No! Oh! This is fine. Oh! These things are pretty uh, resilient. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. Give me a few minutes to figure this thing out. Alright. Dude, what? This thing is cooked. How the fuck do I turn these bitches? Oh, there's another chopper there. That's the Apache thing, right? Dude, this one's different. We gotta try this one. <laughs> there's no way I can land here, dude. I'm gonna fuck this up royally. <laughs> oh my god, third person. Oh my god. This is fucked. You gotta try this different chopper.
Holy shit. Dude, this thing's sick. Dun 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 Oh man. The oh Apache longbow. This thing got all the fixins? Oh, I don't think so, hold on. Dude, this one's crazy. Uh, I don't even know how to check this one. How do I even... Oh, here we go. Yeah, it just needs a plug. Okay. It looks like they're all spawning without a plug, pretty much. Except for the one that you spawned in. So all the helis are spawning in with plugs. So what's the deal with the expansion mod? Is it just too much of a pain to add? Can't you not take the expansion helis and add them? I just remember messing around with that mod on my own server and it was... Oh no, I understand. I'm just wondering why. I'm telling you the expansion ones are way better. Or not like way better, but they're just they're just better. The ones that we had on uh, from the expansion on Livonia are fucking fantastic. They're so much fun. They just fly a lot better and they have better like they're not as loud and shit. These ones are badass though. These are like way more badass, but they just they don't feel the same. Oh, you use the expansion? Okay, yeah, yeah. So then you know. Let's see. Let's try this one, though. Let's see what this one's about. Hopefully the zombie doesn't beat me to death in here. Bro, this one looks crazy. I'm scared. Oh, ho, ho. damn, this thing's responsive. I'm still having a hard time. I'm having a hard time turning these things. I'm used to a forger where you have to lean into the turn and pull up at the same time, but this one just fights you. Like, it's not. Like, look, it's not. The physics of it are kind of wonky. Obviously, Reforger is a lot newer and shit, but. You're supposed to be able to turn like this. I guess it's kind of turning now. And you counteract that, you can turn this way. Maybe I'm just tilting too much? Q&E, well, 
No, Q and E will work like if I press the plus button, that puts us in auto hover and then once you're stopped like this, you can you can use E and Q to just spin around like this. But once the heli's in, in movement and in flight, then you have to use uh, the actual, you just have to use A and D to uh, turn it. Engage target. I don't know if there's guns on this. It looks like it. Okay, so I've got it at full thrust up. And we're freaking flying like fast. 137 knots. We're lagging. Maybe that's the key. Just keep it at that full thrust. It's got a lot more maneuverability at this uh, stage. So I can really tilt it forward, gather speed, and then pull back. And that thrust is uh, forcing it up. We're freaking flying at a tilt. Someone's loading in when that leg happens. Oh, interesting. Dude, I want to pick... I don't even know if I can have a partner in this. Can I? I think there is a back seat. Yeah, let's see if we can uh, check it. If there is one. Hot landing. Jesus Christ.
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This is a co-pilot seat. Yeah, this one just doesn't feel nearly as fluid as the uh, other mod I'm used to. It's a badass chopper though, for sure. I'm, I I could get it. I just need some more practice, but this one just doesn't feel as fluid, I guess. Armor Reforger actually has some really good flying. Um, so the last thing I flew was in Reforger, so it's not really a fair comparison. But yeah, give me a few hours, I get pretty comfortable with this. What other helis are US? I'm not sure. Needs expansion, yeah. So you can't just take the helis from expansion and add them, right? You said that it takes like a whole bunch of other stuff to make it work kind of deal. One point five gigs, yeah. You got a good internet donate, huh? <laughs> Let the plebs suffer, Nate. We need expansion, buddy. Let's see if I can f land this thing on a on a building in town. Let the plebs suffer, Nate. I need expansion, buddy. Don't mind me. I've just got an addiction. I'm about to be. I'm, I'm about to get myself a damn flight simulator or some shit. <laughs> I need more helis. Might throw a poll in the Discord? Yeah. The problem with polls like that, I don't know how many people know about much about helis in the in the in this, but yeah. I'm very biased. I just want the expansion mod. This is cool though, man. I'm glad you uh Put the uh, put these in. It's fun. Even just to mess around a little bit, you know. I might have to use third person for this. Let's see what this is like in third person. This is a difficult one. Wasn't pretty, but I 
How modern is the Apache anyways? Dude, I may have screwed myself. How do I get in this shit? Try fueling from a pump. I think that needs a mod. I'm pretty sure. Could try though. Yeah, if you guys want to try this and you're going to join the PvE server, I'll, uh, I could leave this uh, at uh, Tyler or something if you want to try it. I got to get off soon. I've been on for 10 hours, man. It's getting ridiculous. This is super cool, though. I'm glad we got to try this. Dude, look at this map from a heli. It's crazy. Crazy. No, you can't find any fly any uh, fixed wing fixed wing aircrafts in Daisy. I don't think, unless there's like some kind of crazy mod for that. But Dude. oh baby, oh. part of the fun man you gotta crash no if you're ever getting this chopper just press the plus button on the, on the numpad and it'll save you pretty much you can basically be saved from anything for the most part oh it's very responsive but it just doesn't feel that intuitive like it's not I don't know it's hard to explain The one, the Daisy expansion is definitely the best. Do a flip. I kind of want to leave this for people to try, you know. But if someone else gets in this, they're probably going to blow it up. You got a 10 QS? I'm sure you can, uh, you can, you can put it to a different key. Bro, we should park it up here. <laughs> nah, I want I want people to be able to use it. This is so cool. Oh, the terrain is way crazier on this map. So you can do some nutty dive bombs and shit.
Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Controller actually might not be bad for this. Might even be easier on controller. Oh yeah, fuck yeah, Nate. You can do the whole map, no problem. Easy. Fast. Yeah, this is the Bitterroot PvE server. So if you want to try the choppers, you come in here and... Uh, go look at the militaries and you'll find one. Oh no! Uh oh! Dude, oh, this is... Bro, I can't go any higher. I can't go any higher. I can't. Is this as high as I can go? Wait a minute. I can't even get to the top of the map. Bro, I'm tripping out. Dude, this map has serious elevation. If I can't even get there in a chopper, you know? Zombies can spot up there, yeah. Oh, shit! This is as high as you can go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah! Oh shit! It's got a mind of its own. Mayday! Mayday! Maddie had to move Bishop because Z Zeds wouldn't spawn, really? Holy shit. It's wild. Wait, what is this? There's a quarry over here? Oh, Bochki. Mm. Coming in hot. Should have more, yeah. What is he adding at the end? A missile silo or something? Careful, there's some assets in the sky. What does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? Assets in the sky. Invisible aliens? So don't fly over the underground bunker is what you're saying? Oh, I'm lagging. Chopper doesn't like the big city. Get me the hell out of here. I haven't even been out to this part of the map yet.
Where is the memorial located? Good question. So this is the last part of the map then, huh? No, not on this server, no. There was only like four people on it, so I don't think anyone's on it. Except for us flying around like assholes. Uh, what's going on, Ghosty? Oh, uh, they want, they're coming for the chopper, yeah. They want the chopper. You'll never, you'll never have this. I will power level all the choppers. This is... I'm gonna turn into the Brody boys of this fucking server, boy. Oh, it's going good today, man. Yeah, this just makes me want to go to play Livonia again. Get our choppers back. No, I haven't been driving that for... I've been full-time streaming for like six, seven months. Is that a freaking person? Oh, no, it's a wolf. No, I uh, I quit uh, I quit that job. I think I've been full-time streaming for like six months or something. I just fly video game choppers now, bro. Whoa. Uh, yeah, I flew over the big city and it was kind of sketchy. Felt a little laggy, obviously. Oh, I'm touching the trees. What do you think? We leave this thing in town for someone to blow up or what? Do I hog this chopper to myself or do I leave it in town for someone to blow up? Tough choice. That would be nice of you, yeah. I'd be saving someone's life if I didn't allow them to have it. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe I'll just keep it then. I'll greedy keep it for myself and see if we can get some people to come in here. You know, it's not nice if I let someone take it knowing they're going to blow themselves up. Like, this thing's not easy to fly. You'd have to, you'd have to be experienced to fly this. Or you're definitely going to blow up. This one's harder to fly than the expansion mod, at least. Hey, ghost, Ghosty, thank you for gifting us up with the dollar. Appreciate it, man. Leave it on the top of a building. I want people to admire my masterpiece Apache. You know what I'm saying? If someone's on the server and they want to go to a heli, I'll fly them to the heli, but the par problem is they need uh, need a plug, you know?
And uh, Ghosty, thanks for giving a sub out to Toffly. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for the support, dude. Uh, I wonder where we should leave this thing. Need to find a good spot. Oh, no, no. Uh, I'm going to take the parts out of it. So they're not going to be able to take this, I don't think. It doesn't even matter, really. It's all good. Take a while to get parts, yeah. Yo, check that out. You guys ain't never touching my chopper, boy. It's a good spot. Make all the peasants down below pissed off, huh? The land peasants. Piss them all off, huh? Until one of them... <laughs> You'd have to land up here to get up here. <laughs> anyway, I'll I'll uh, I'll come back in next time and we'll uh, take some people on a ride or something. Let someone fly it. God dang land peasants! No, no, this is a non PVE. This is PVE. Texas, no one can shoot me here. <laughs> the only in the red zones, remember? The, I'll like fly people around and shit. I'll help them out. But no, you can't I can't be shot at on uh in here. How the hell do I get to the parts though? This is weird. Are they uh, up in the front or what? Can't get to the parts here. I'm pretty sure the parts were like right here. Might have to go on top. Maybe because it's raised that little bit. That little bit of raise right there might be preventing me from accessing the inventory. <laughs> I 
I hope I fall off the damn roof. Yeah, it should be like right here. You see how there's the inventory there? Yeah, it's all good. It's just, it's probably just, it's probably just that, honestly. These helis are touchy. It doesn't matter anyways. No one can get up here, so the parts are probably... If you flew on here, you'd have to land it on top. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about it. If someone gets up here somehow, they can have it. Alright. Well, we conquered Bitterroot today. Got the Humvee, had some hilarious times. Flew around. It's a good time. Real good time. Thanks for hanging out, guys. We'll, uh, we'll be back again real soon. I d I'm not sure what we're going to do next. This part of me wants to go back to Livonia. Get a chopper again there. We could do that. We got Namal's suit to build. Who knows? We'll uh, we'll play it by ear. But thanks thanks a lot for hanging out, everyone. Support was crazy as usual. And uh, I'll speak to you guys real soon. All right. Take it easy.